Hello, 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 hello. Um, I just need to check a few things. So at the very last minute, I got locked out of my <laughs> YouTube account and I've had to dig out an old phone and verify it. But it all seems to be running, but we will begin in probably three, four, five minutes. So hang tight and I'll see you soon. Just a couple of more minutes, team. It's just a few little kinks I need to sort out. Uh, just been a while since I streamed, so hang in there and we'll begin in a moment. All looking good. Okay, hopefully everything is working. I do apologize about the oh, nine minute late start. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll tell you what happened. So about half an hour ago, an electrician turned up to our house and um, cut the power. And I wasn't informed that this was happening, but that's okay. He sorted it out very quickly and then when my computer booted Windows decided to do an update and now I'm starting to panic a bit because I've got a schedule and then uh, Google decided to lock me out of my account and I've got a new phone and I had to get my old phone out and recharge it to get the code to put in the authentication but I think we are good now. Hopefully you guys can hear me, welcome along. Uh, I am streaming to a few different platforms today. Uh, I should be able to read all of the chat messages from all platforms. Uh, we will see. If anybody's watching on Twitch, give us a what's up just so I can um, check there. I can see YouTube's happening. Pablo, Alan, what's up? How are we doing? 
Yeah, so exciting day today, exciting day. I'm going to be using Atlas 2.3. So this is kind of a com combination of showing off the new features of version 2.3. Yeah, the Windows updates, man. Um, I'm going to be creating a content pack for the new update. Well, it's for Atlas in general, but uh, I'm going to be making a pack, hopefully get it somewhat finished today and then maybe work on it a bit more over the week. We'll see how we go today. Uh, what I have done is I've made a whole bunch of samples. Uh, I will go through Atlas for those of you who are unfamiliar with it um, in a moment, but... So I've got a whole bunch of original samples here. These are a map, and if you are actually an Atlas owner, or even if you're not an owner, you can go and grab the trial and play with this right now. If you go into your browser and go into your packs available, you will see that there is a Cosmiverse map so you can actually download this map right now and play with it and um, yeah so that's what I'm going to be using today and I'm going to be using all of these samples to create packs so that's uh, a collection of drum kits or well they call them loops so a, a drum kit and a subsequent sequence of MIDI notes and I'm going to try and make 20 of those you can see I've got a, a bit of a speed run timer thing going on over here on the left and um, this is just to give me a bit of a flow of what I anticipate doing and I'm going to aim to spend about 15 minutes on each loop, if you like. Uh, it could be shorter, they could be longer. I'm not actually too sure how that's going to go. Cool, I can see some Twitch messages, so that's awesome. Welcome along, guys. Yeah, and um, also I should mention the big thing. Yeah, if you use the code COSM, C-O-S-M, at the checkout uh, when you're buying Algonaut uh, Atlas, you'll get 40% off, which is a big discount. And... Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy about, would I say I'm working with Matt, the lead dev at Atlas? I th I'd say so. Like he's, I've been using this a lot. I, I started using this, um, I don't know, six months to a year ago, and I made the tutorial videos for, the, for Atlas, and I just really, really liked it. And it's not often that I will do tutorial videos for something, and then it becomes a very core part of my own production habits and this is one of them I, I really really mean that that's not something I'm getting paid to say uh, this has become my go-to for managing my beats managing my samples even if I'm not using the inbuilt sequencer just the ability to have all of my samples in one place using its mm -hmm. AI technology mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. let's let's go through it really quickly for those of you who aren't familiar and um, I'll get to any questions in the chat at various stages when I take a bit of a pause. But um, yeah, good to see everyone. Um, so we have these things called maps. And what you do is you add a folder or from your computer. So I use Splice Sounds a lot. So I add my Splice Sounds folder. And um, I should, probably should have renamed this before I started. But this is the map of my Splice Sounds folder. And there is, I think there's over 10,000 samples in here. And what it does is it analyzes them using its smart fancy pants technology which I don't quite understand and it categorizes them and puts them all into groups in this map so these are all of my samples in one place and that's incredibly handy because it means I can kind of just browse over here and I can look at all my kicks and you'll notice that we've got all of these dots which are individual samples they're, they're next to each other and they actually the, the algorithm has actually gone through and determined that these are quite similar sounding samples so it's really good at grouping all of your samples together in, in kind of categories. So if I click on a few of these, like so. So you can hear these are all very similar style kicks. If we choose something a bit different, let's say snares, which there's usually a lot of. So that's the whole concept of a map and it's really cool. I really like turning on this button here, which means you can just browse around and have a good time. Um, yeah, really, it's really good for small kits, it's really good for big kits, um, and we can also go into galaxy mode, which is a bit more chaotic, but this just kind of puts them in really close proximity to each other, depending on how similar they sound. And there's also a list view as of two updates ago, one update ago, which allows you to just see them all as you would in a list, which is, again, very handy. Once again, I apologize if you know all this and you're an actual Atlas Euro, uh, user, but, um, yeah, I just thought it'd be good for those of you who aren't familiar. Uh, down here we have our kit section. So this is where we can build our kits. And there's a really neat thing you can do. And you can just go 
new kit and we straight away have a kit of samples so kick snare claps hats and then of course jumping right ahead we've got a sequencer so let me just change the length to 4-4 four, four, and we can um play we can just swap this out with new kicks as many as we want let's just put a snare in put some hats put in some shakers we've got velocity of course and the exciting part of the 2.3 update, which I'll get to in a minute, includes that. And we can just keep clicking new kit. I mean, that's already awesome, you know? Like, it's it's basically, I do like choosing my own samples and stuff, but this has just sped up my workflow massively when I'm, like, wanting to just quickly browse through samples. I do like Ableton Live's browser, but just kind of moving down and pushing the down arrow over and over can get a, a little bit tedious. Um, how's my audio levels, by the way? Let me just hit play. So I'm just talking, there should be a bit of sidechain on there, hopefully you guys can hear my voice while that's still playing. Let's get a real busy pattern in. Um, so I'm just going to go new sequence, it's going to pluck a sequence randomly out from the browser. Let's find something busy. Woo. Talking, talking over music. Yeah, awesome. And of course per, um, I guess, drum uh, tab or hits here, we can tune various aspects of the individual uh, samples if you like. So we've got gain, we've got shape which is a, a, a kind of a basic but perfectly adequate envelope so we can give it a short kind of release time or we can open it up and give it some attack and we can also change the shape of that. Uh, we have a filter which is a two-part filter so as we bring it down we're a low pass and as we bring it up we're a high pass and that of course comes with a resonance. We have a pitch which goes down to plus or minus 24 and we have a fine tune for sense. So I'm going to be doing a lot of work today with tuned samples. So that's not something that has been used or it's not something that's used a lot with this but I find this really powerful to use it for actual things like chords or bass stabs and stuff. And if we go back to the map, the Cosmiverse map here, um, you'll notice that there is actually, let me just load this up, maybe I have to do it from here. Cosmiverse. Why are we not loading that map? It's loading that one. Okay, here we are, yeah. So you'll see there's a lot of kind of other samples and what I've done is... These are not my samples. So I'm just, I think I need to quickly delete my map and reload it here. It's something that Matt told me I had to do before I started and I just realized I have not done that. So bear with me. Just sorry about this, guys. Uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to do it this way. As you can tell, I was a little bit stressed before I started this whole thing. And um, yeah, we kind of had to really uh, push through. There we go. So this is my map here and as you can see I've got a lot of pitch stuff and I've also got a lot of um, a lot of a lot of foley sounds. So I walk around my house with a recorder and my headphones and I recorded paper scrunching and um, taps and switches and stuff because I want to do a lot of work with um, with sample uh, manipulation today. So you might have seen in the Wii preview video, if you didn't, that the new addition to 2.3 is, let me just go new kit here and find a sample. I'm just going to use that. It's a little bit obnoxious. Actually, let's find a new one. Turn my headphones up a little bit here. Let's roll with that. I'm just going to clear everything in the sequencer. I'm just going to put a bunch of notes here. Now this is going to sound pretty terrible to start with, but that's okay. Now I can open up the velocity panel here and I can give all of these different velocity and you know, by default velocity is attached to the gain. So... But if I go up here into the advanced panel, this is where the 2.3 update really shines. If you're familiar with the old ones, this is a little bit different, but if I go to the modulation tab, 
you'll see we now have a velocity mod section. And this is what I've been hassling Matt to put in. I'm really, really adamant that this would add a lot of value and functionality to it. And what it allows you to do is attach the velocity to something other than the gain. So at the moment it's attached to the gain. If I bring that down, let's turn it down for the pitch. Let's see what happens here, negative 12. So now on a per note level in the sequencer, we can change the pitch. The other fun one, of course, is the filter. Let's bring that down. So before we couldn't do that, bring up the resonance. Awesome. Let's just go new kit. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be exploring today because that really really opens up the possibility of, of, of a whole lot. So we can, we could write melodies and it's not really supposed to be for that, but I'm going to give that a go. Uh, I'm going to be writing uh, pitched bass lines. I'm going to be using the shape to kind of open and close. And I've got lots of kind of big, long bass wubs and ripping sounds and things like that. Um, and of course we can use this in combination with the randomizer. So we can do things like we can randomize the shape and also have velocity mod on the shape. And that's going to give us a really good way to humanize things like hats and toms and, and all that kind of thing. I better read the chat because I, I notice a lot of people have been um, messaging. So I'm going to be pushing through today quite quickly, but I will take stages where I read everything here. Um, where's the neuro bass genre? Uh, Cosmic, I guess we can, um, what have we got? We've got roller, we've got a few different DMBs. I think I put hard DMB somewhere maybe. Liquid DMB, heavy DMB. We'll, we'll make that. Uh, we'll go. We'll try and go a bit neural, neural on there because there are some neuro sounds. And I mean, guys, subgenres. I mean, who knows? I don't know what's out there now. This, this to me is a collection of subgenres that I kind of have an idea of what they sound like. Uh, so we're going to be rolling with those. Um, what else we got? Excited for the new pack. Oh yeah, and of course this pack that I'm created is a free pack for all Atlas users. So I think Friday we're going to actually release it and you'll be able to download and play with it. What else we got? Can you remove the grid locking to 16th notes? You can't at this stage. Um, I'm pretty, I might get in trouble here, but I believe, um, I believe Matt is working on that at the moment. And, um, I have actually had a little play with a beta and it's pretty damn cool. What you can do is you can use the nudge, which will nudge all of those notes to the right or even to the left if you want to go early but we can also assign the uh, velocity mod to the time delay so if you want to get some kind of sloppy hits and some kind of you know offbeat you know weird shuffly stuff going on we can actually use the time delay and I will be doing an example of that a little bit later. Uh, miss you too Emery. Uh, what have I been using to make the samples? Uh, all kinds of stuff. There's a whole bunch of samples that um, I've collected over the years that I've sampled myself from various uh, hardware machines. I've been using some plugins. I've been using, I'll tell you what, I've been using Mr. Bill's Slap a lot um, to really, really beef some stuff up, you know, just like hitting something with a stick and then putting slap on it to turn it into a snare. Um, can you shuffle the pattern and nudge individual tracks? Yes, you can. So if I close down the velocity here, you'll see we have a master shuffle knob. And that goes all the way up to 100 which is uh, pretty wild. And uh, what else we got here? Any more questions while I'm at it? Pablo says he can't hear anything. That's no good. I'm assuming you guys can considering um, nobody else has complained. Matt really went wild with the modulation feature. He sure did. He sure did. It's, it's, it has been something I've been pressing. Um, and uh, I'll tell you what I'm excited about. And we haven't really talked about this, but this tabulated system, there's quite a few more spaces here, don't you think? That looks pretty cool. There's also some space over here. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Um, so what I, again, what I'm going to be doing, a bit of a long introduction, sorry, is I'm going to be going through and writing 20 or so different genres based on this pack that I've created. Once I'm happy with the loop, I'm going to save it. It's going to go into the folder and then, yeah, on Friday, we're going to be releasing that as a free pack. Okay, so let's kick on. 
so the first one I've got up here is dub techno uh, so what I'm gonna do here uh, we're getting alerts alert sounds but I can't actually see the alert box so whoever oh Shonky Industries thanks for the sub man do appreciate it okay so let's uh, let's just go ahead so I'm gonna clear everything and I'm gonna clear everything in my kit and let's go ahead and build something in fact I'm just gonna go new kit for now so when I click on new kit it's going to um, choose samples that kind of match all these categories here I'm not sure if I'm gonna to stick to this kind of format you know kick snare clap uh, for some of them especially the ones where I'm gonna be using lots of bass stabs and foley sounds we'll be getting rid of things like tambourine and clave and rim and stuff but let's just go ahead and go new kick uh, new kit and we'll make this a four bar loop and let's just put in a kick nice and simple can Atlas use Ableton samples or not the right file type uh, there is a little bit of an issue with uh, samples that come with Ableton packs the AIF files um, they seem to be locked to within Ableton Live um, we've done a bit of experimenting with this and um, they can be a bit of a headache to use uh, I'm not sure if a fix is on the way for that or Ableton have very specifically made it like that um, I'm not sure if Matt's watching but perhaps he could chime in um, and answer any questions that are specific to stuff like that can you saw modulation on individual steps well, yeah we can add uh, we can use the velocity on individual steps so let's just do that right now let's just do it real basically I'm gonna get this kick playing let's slow it down let's go let's go 105 kind of a nice kind of slow thing so let's just put another kick here you'll see you know that's that's a nice velocity thing but what we can do is we can go into the advanced tab and let's bring the pitch down but bring it down to negative 12 this kind of gives me a range of 12 individual notes and you also notice, notice there's a button here which allows us to snap to semitone so if I was to turn this off um, I don't believe it's going to snap to the nearest semitone but we'll keep it on for now and let's just get a let's just get a snare on the not bad I'm gonna stick with that kick I quite like it for a dub techno maybe we'll go with the rim or that's a clap where's my rim at now let's stick with the clap let's see what else we got and let's just put in some shakers so I'm just going straight into velocity mode so I can draw these in myself sounding pretty good I'm gonna bring the gain up a little bit of the shakers not bad let's get in some closed hats sounding good now I'm gonna jump right ahead here and put in some chords so I'm just gonna stop the sequencer for a second awesome awesome thanks for the purchase man so you can hear here's a foley sound there's a bass sound I'm just gonna keep going until I find a chord there's a good one there there's another feature here which allows us to find similar samples it's this little button which is hidden up in the top left and that kind of brings up a what, how many we got here 10 different options so we can just quickly listen to samples that sound similar so it's kind of giving us giving us different chords here I'm gonna stick with this one here though I'm just gonna put it here and here for now actually let's get a bunch of chords so let's zoom into my other I'm gonna turn on this mode so we can just hover around so you can hear all my foley sounds up there I thought all these little creaky sounds would be good for this dub techno stuff Same as that one. There's another one. I'm just going to drag these in. I'm going to find four different chords sound. 
pretty sure I made four. Let's um, let's go similar samples here. So let's drag that in there. That's a good one because that's got quite a lot of tail on it. So let's just put in one, two, three, four for now. I'm going to give this a bit of shuffle. It's a bit too much. Let's play around with the velocity on the shape. Also, a lot of this stuff I haven't actually explored much for myself. I've kind of been holding off so I can um, play with this. So at the moment, this has the velocity attached to the gain. We can just click on this so it's always going to play at the same gain. You can see the tooltip down the bottom or the info message says um, ignore MIDI velocity and always play sample at volume. So I'm going to bring the shape down. Let's bring this right down. So you see how we get very short hits. So I could kind of make this middle hit quite long and then short, long, short. Let's also give it some filter mod and some frequency over here. This one here, I'm going to try and just pitch it down by negative 12. Oh, I didn't hit start on my um, fancy time here. Okay, so now we're going. Now we're going. Uh, where are we here? I'll tell you what, let's use the pitch mod on this one. So again, I'm going to turn off the, uh, the gain and let's bring this down 12. Let's go all the way down the bottom, all the way to the top. Maybe if we bring this back to zero. We'll also give this some filter as well, bring this down. That's not going to work. I'm going to bring the pitch down to try and match this note here. Okay, so we need to go negative five. Okay, nice. Now, I'm, I don't think we need too much in the way of percussion here. So I think what I'll do, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna make this loop 16. I'm going to try and make all of these loops 16. We'll see how we go. And another cool feature you might have seen is when I do change the size from 4 beats, I guess, to 16 beats, it's duplicated everything I've done already across. And we also have these tools here which allow us to kind of add notes in at various stages. So if we wanted to put, you know, uh, a note every 4 beats, we can do so and remove them as well. Let's just clean that up. Um, so I'm going to replace these four with Foley sounds. I don't think we need a clav, a tambourine, a bongo, and a cowbell for this. So let me just close down my advanced panel there. I am trying to keep an eye on the chat, guys, but, um, yeah, if I do miss something, just keep asking. So let's find where those Foley sounds were before. There's a good one. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Man, after walking around my house and recording these, I'm like, oh, I should do an ASMR side project. That's pretty cool. I have no idea what that is, but let's use it. Yeah, so the finalized content will be coming out on Friday. Uh, no, sorry, not Friday. Today is Friday, so 
in some days once once the pack is finished i'll be working on this over the next few days but right now you can go and download the cosmiverse map straight away so you can play with these samples yourself okay so i have f four foley sounds That one's got a little bit too much body to it. I want all these to be quite high. So I'm going to bring the filter up for this one. It's quite nice. And I'm just going to drop these in. Let's just uh, turn off this. And let's just drop these in here. I'm going to swap these two around. This one here is cool, but I'd like it to go longer, so therefore if we pitch it down, we should get a nice long, long one. Uh, yes, you can offset individual tracks, I believe. Uh, we have a nudge dial here, so if we open up the velocity view of a track and move the nudge, it's going to nudge all the notes of that particular track forward or back. Let's just give these a little bit more gain. I'm real happy with how this is sounding already. It's a great fun genre, this one. I like it very much. It's very generic, but to me that implies it's good. Okay, I'm just going to go into my list view here. Um, these are all the samples in the pack. Uh, I've got... Let's have a look at our noise, because I think I've got some cool crackle. Shall we? Yeah, let's load that into here. That's quite a long sample, so... I'm going to put it in here. We could probably have this playing throughout the whole thing. Kind of adds a bit of vibe. Just bring the volume up for now. Let's bring the filter down on it. So we get those clicks. Don't think we need an open hat, so I'm going to replace that with a crash. We'll make it. A, we'll find a crash that's really nice and chill. Uh, where are my crashes? That's a nice one, a real white noise one. So we're going to put that there. Let's just put that at the start. A bit more gain. You know what? Let's go ahead. Here's our tom. I'm going to put the same crash on that tom track. I'm going to open up my advanced panel, go back to playback. Let's reverse that. So now we've actually got a, a little riser so we can get some phrasing. Might have to put it around here maybe. Not bad. Let's try a different crash for the riser. Maybe that one, was it the sample or this one? I can't quite remember, this one. So go back into our advanced. Oh yeah, so Atlas 2.3 is available now as of about 10 minutes ago or so. Uh, does it have an auto update feature? I'm not too sure. Matt? <laughs> I'm looking at Matt's uh, chat to the left of me here. Um, he hasn't said too much, but um, yeah, that might be something he can answer there. Can you import MIDI drum patterns from elsewhere and assign your own samples to that MIDI? You sure can. You can you can drag and drop from Ableton. You can um, you can have this open as a VST inside of Ableton Live, and you can drag your MIDI clip into Ableton. You can edit it, and then you can export it by using this button. Render it, and then literally just drag it back into Ableton Live. It's 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 fluent between your DAW and your um, 
and Atlas. Okay, so let's, what do we just do here? Let's see if this reversed one works well. I don't think I reversed it, did I? No, let's reverse that. I'm gonna drag this one out quite long, pitch it down. Pitch it right down. Bring the filter up. Now it's a little bit finicky, but this crackle, let's pitch that down. This could go a little bit later. Yeah, you won't regret it guys. Again, any any extra enthusiasm I put into um, this product, which kind of sounds like I'm selling it, is actually genuine from me as a producer. Like it's 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 awesome. It really is. Let's lower the volume of this down. I think the pitch is a little bit too low. I want one little bass kind of warp in here, one little kind of organic-y kind of sound. So you see I've got quite a lot of bass uh, hits in this pack. Let's go through them. That's cool. You might recognize a lot of these from tracks I've written if you follow my music. So I did go through some of my tracks and kind of export sounds that I've already designed. I thought that'd be a cool little, uh, a little thing. Yeah, I got a bit of a space shuttle going on here. This 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 screen, um, I'm currently trialing out. A friend lent it to me. It's a super ultra wide, and um, I feel a little bit daunted by it. And I'm not sure if it's. I, I think it might be a bit excess for what I need, but certainly looks cool. That would be cool. Uh, what are we not using here? Looks like we're uh, we're using all of our tracks. Looks like we are, apart from the snare track, believe it or not. So let's put that in there. Where could this go? I'm just going to put it into this mode uh, here, just so I can listen to different placements of this. Maybe just on the uh, second beat. I might pitch this up 12. Don't know if this is the right sound. Let's find another one. Let's try that one. It was this, right? Yeah. We could probably get away with putting that here. Mm. Yeah. Let's go into the advanced panel and just Bring the start time of that sample across a little bit here. I think I just want this here. Right at the start. Maybe let's attach the pitch to this. So I'll go down negative 12. Let's try this. Let's see what just happens here. Mm. I'm just going to add a 
function. It's not going to be too good, but let's try it. We might just have one at the start. Now you know what we're missing here is we're missing a a bass sound. And I believe let's just have a listen. I'm going to get rid of this foley sound. I'm restricting myself to 16 tracks here. Um, we can actually go up to 64 um, if we if we choose to do so. But I'm I'm restricting myself to eight. Uh, sorry, 16 individual drum hits there. So I might swap some out for others just to make space. Um, but you can extend that beyond um, that. But because we've got that crash at the start, and we've also got um, a few things going on here. So I'm going to swap this out for a sub. So let's go down. So I've added just a few subs, but um, that's all you really need. They're just sine waves with a bit of, a bit of girth to them. Where are we? That's a good one. So I'm going to drag that here in place of this other one. You'll also notice that all of the samples that I've made for this pack are in C. So everything is in C. Uh, there might be a few chords that are in major or minor, but that's just to keep things nice and easy. That's quite a long sound, so we'll go into the advanced tab and turn on gate. We can give it just a release. We could do it here if we wanted to, but I'll just use this release here. Still too long. Let's just put in a bunch of notes. I'll put them like this just for now so we can hear it. So that's way too much, so we'll get rid of these. Maybe if we just do a kind of a nice, a nice kind of pattern like that. So I've already spent more than 15 minutes on this one, but I'm getting into the flow of it as well. I'm kind of learning how this goes, so. The sound is slightly getting on my nerves actually, so I'm going to turn that down. I might lose that. So with this other, let's go ahead and Let's do some pitch stuff. What I'm going to do is pitch it up 12 first. Like you may have seen me do this in my production streams. When I'm working with subs, I tend to pitch them up, get the notes sorted, and then bring them down because I find um, I find it easier to kind of hear them. In fact, let's just uh, solo this. So we can write melodies now. Hmm. Let's just roll with that. Real simple bass line. And we'll put one more here. down to the fifth. Let's go ahead and give uh, okay bring it down to zero. I'm just going to quickly save this, um, save loop, I'm just going to call it TC dub tech, techno one. I will name all these properly and stuff eventually. Uh, do we do it right? 
Here we go. We've done all right. Uh, Matt says, do you want to me to answer some questions in the chat? Will that mess with the flow? No, go for it. That would be super, super cool. Um, I'm trying to catch everything. If it's production related, I'll give it a shot. But if someone asks about pricing or um, features and stuff, then um, yeah, go for it. Cenotaph, I never thought of using anything other than drum samples and Atlas. I feel foolish when I even considering other sounds. Well, that's that's the cool thing about it. I mean, I am, I get a great thrill from using things unconventionally. Um, I'm a big fan of using old tracker software. I love my Game Boy and LSDJ and all that stuff because I love having such a small amount of things to work with and I like trying to ex exploit them and create new things from them. It's just a personal thing. I'm not saying the results ever sound terribly good, but um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that. And that's something that drew me to At At Atlas as a kind of a, a drum focused machine, but seeing the capabilities of doing sample based stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this bass line. I'm going to go and do a little bit of variations on the shakers here. I'm going to change the grid to 32 size. Let's just add kind of like a few. It's a little bit too loud. So I'm just kind of giving these a little bit of a, a little bit of fast 30 second note runs here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and attach the velocity of the snare. We'll keep the gain up, uh, but I'll bring the filter down. And that means that I can just kind of add in a little extra hits. It might be a little bit too much. That's cool. a little bit of res. Matt is in the building. Feel free to ask him about anything to do with development or pricing or anything like that. Okay, I like that. I'm now going to go through, I'm kind of at the stage now where I'm going to start just shaping, just fine tuning a little bit. So on this other, uh, let's disable the gain velocity, bring the filter down as well. Bring the gain up a bit. This one here, let's also, I'm just going to bring the filter on for all of these. Uh, we've got, we've already done these two. Okay, so this one. Just had an idea. So this is what, mm, there's a lot of interesting ways to use this stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to replace this other one and I'm going to try and recreate an actual dub delay. I think we can do that with the filter and the velocity and the velocity on the gain here. Let me just finish what I'm doing with this one here though. Man, this is sounding cool. I'm real glad this first example is fire. Uh, so this other here, let's go ahead and find something new. I'm just gonna refresh the sample. Right, 
already using that. I think I will use this one um, because it's gonna we're gonna be able to like we're gonna basically emulate the sound of one of these notes or this first note here this one here we're gonna dub delay it out so let's go ahead and how am I gonna do this we'll turn off the the gain mod for now let's bring the filter up to 100% So if I go, let's just um, nuke this. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just going to very gradually open the high pass of this up. I'm um, doing a dotted, a dotted delay line. We'll have it come up and come back down like this. Fuck yeah. Let's do this properly. worth doing these probably I reckon I almost feel like these come down too quickly getting into the perfectionist stuff now which is all good Sounding good. Octonode, what's up man? Long time no see. My fault, I apologize. Okay, let's play around with these ones here. Let's do a few 30 second notes leading into these. I'm nearly done on this loop, guys. Yeah. Maybe like this. Hmm. Too busy there. See what it sounds like with a little bit more shuffle. Okay, last thing I'm just going to check these Foley sounds. Bring up the gain a bit here. I'm going to slow this one down, this one here, a little bit of filter high pass. Let's bring this right down. You know what? I'm happy with that. What do you guys reckon? First loop of the pack. Um, oh, we've gone 12 minutes over my uh, my limit, but that's cool. That's cool. Um, again, I'm getting into the flow of things as well. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit of tidying and stuff. I'll probably move some of these around and just make them a bit more coherent. But let's go ahead and save that. Um, 
just have to here we go so we'll call this tc dub techno 2 and that will be our final one there awesome um for those of you who are just joining us we are creating a free content pack for the latest release of atlas 2.3 uh, i have a custom map which i've created with a whole bunch of cool samples which is available now as the cosmoverse map inside the app if you open it up you can play with it now if you don't own it go get a trial uh, it's fully featured for two weeks i believe matt you might have to um might have to clarify that but um yeah we're just going through a whole list and making some cool loops so next up on the list is chill i'm just going to take a quick bathroom break i will be back in under five minutes so i'll leave this playing while i'm gone and matt if you can take over and uh, answer some questions cool see you in a second Okay, we're back. That's a good loop, man. Real happy with that.
so let's go ahead and build the next one um, I can tick this off on my thing uh, how do we do this? split we're now on to chill which is a very uh, a very vague kind of um, genre I guess but um, I guess let's just start with a drum beat so I'm just gonna go ahead and trash that that's such a brutal thing to say but let's just go new kit just gonna generate let's do it a few times Whoa, I just saw that um, DC offset sample. I thought I'd fix that. Hopefully that's not an issue. Maybe I might have to amend that later. Anyway, let's start with a new kit and we'll go into 16th notes and let's just put in a kick and a, we'll go other for now. We wanna have a snare in there, so let's drag that in here. We'll make this super slow, eh? Maybe like 80 or so. Is there a community where people can share kits patterns for people with Atlas to use? Another question for you, uh, Matt, I think. Alright, let's just make a real simple one. Let's just put in some velocity on the hats. I'm actually going to experiment here with the shape. We haven't really played with the shape yet. Now, even though this is a really short sample, I'm quite keen to see if we can get some cool humanization going. So let's bring the shape right down. Let's make this really short. We've also got um, the velocity attached to the gain. So we're now controlling the length of the sample and the volume. So we should be able to get some nice kind of Put in some fast 30 seconds at the end. Okay. Let's replace this with a open hat, which are over here. I think this will sound good with an open hat. What's well, a clap? Maybe not that one. Cool, I'm going to change the kick pattern here. Sounding good. Let's um, change the kick. Don't know if we want a poppy one. Let's just use that one again, but let's go into the playback control and let's just make this nice and short. And give it a bit of a fade out. Good to see you, Amado. Happy to be here as well. Let's pitch this kick a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, so we've used these four. That's all good. Might as well put a crash in there. I will put the crash in later when we've expanded the loop out. I'm going to find a nice kind of bass stab, see if we can get kind of a, a nice kind of octave up and down thing going on. Probably just go through my list rather than going random for this because I, I know quite specifically what I'm looking for. I just can't remember which one it is. Let's go with that one. So uh, we'll drag that in here. 
So I'm just going to put in 16th notes. Yeah, let's do some pitch stuff. Let's see how creative we can get with a pitch mod. What does it sound like all, all the way down? Hmm. Okay, let's make all these super low. Want to get a nice low bass sound here. Oh, that's kind of cool actually. Happy little accidents. Oh, it's not really a speed run. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a speed run just to add a bit of hype to things, but it's just so I can keep track of uh, what I'm doing. Okay, let's change one of these. Let's go ahead and change the shortness of this as well. Doom. <laughs> But me and Matt have been joking about recreating Doom in Atlas. I wonder if I can get these high notes to be more cut off. Let's try. Maybe if I go this way. I have to go the other way, I think. I'll tell you what, I'm going to drag this back out again and we'll try and use the shape. I'm just going to turn up the time delay for fun. That's cool. So see when the velocity is high, it's delaying it. So I guess at max value, it's delaying it by 37 milliseconds, and we're getting a bit of a bit of slop. Let's see what happens if we add some shuffle too. I'm going to change the snare. Yeah, uh, visit my Discord for sure. Unfortunately, I don't have a link to give you guys, but you should be able to Google Tom Cosm Discord, I think. I like that, um, that sloppiness there. Let's go ahead and put some chords on the offbeats. Let's find my chords here. going to give it so much life. I'm going to do something totally crazy here. I'm going to duplicate this to a new track. I'm going to turn these off. I'm going to add them in here instead. I 
and I'm going to go into my advanced tab. I'm going to use the randomize here. Let's randomize the pan and we will mod it. You know what? Let's also do it one more time and randomize it again. Why not? Let's get rid of that. Let's pan this one to the left, this one to the right. So we're getting kind of a stereo chorus thing. And let's detune one by a little bit of sense. Uh, make sure we turn this off for both of them. Oh, I've got to put notes in here as well. I will turn off the time delay for these. So you see we can kind of lay up the same sample over and over to get, you know, a traditional effect, which might be a some kind of stereo spatial spreader or things like that. Um, yeah, so any of the modulation parameters that you select is what you can control in the timeline. Yeah, so the velocity, I guess, has now become a kind of a multi-purpose value per note in the sequencer, which is perfect. It's such a huge addition to add so much variation to your loops. I should just be copying and pasting these, actually. I haven't used this before, believe it or not. Copy. Paste. Simple. Let's hard pan that to the left, hard pan that to the right. Let's give this one just a little bit of time delay. Select both of these, bring the gain up. I'm going to detune this a bit more. And let's detune this one up a little bit so they kind of meet in the middle. They're a bit loud now. You know what, I'm going to build a chord, just because I want to. So I'm going to copy this one more time. So now we have to go through and figure out the values to make a minor chord. That one's easy enough. I'm just going to uh, solo these. And I should be making these go uh, down in pitch. And these should all go up 12 semitones. Hmm, this is a mistake. 12, 12, 12. Now I could do this here in the pitch value, but I really want to do this I really want to do this manually. Um, it's just got to keep things a little bit coherent. I'm going to put one on the right, one on the left, and one on the, sorry, left, middle, and right. That'll give me at least some spatial distinction between the three as I'm trying to build the chord. Let's um, 
get rid of that one. Hold up, I'm going to restart here. I've gotten myself a little bit lost. So let's just reset everything. Pan, get rid of the shape, pitch, filter, time delay. This might be a bit roundabout, but I really want to, I really want to get this. Oh, look, we got spam. Have we got any mods in here? Octano, are you about? Can you deal with that? I don't actually know. This is on YouTube. I'm not used to having spam. Um, let me just deal with that, guys. Uh, what do I have to do here? You know you're making it when you're getting... Um, what is it? Best adult dating. Maybe I have to go to my dashboard. Sorry about this. Uh, where's my dashboard? I'll leave this playing while I deal with the spam. Best adult site. I know, you know what's fucking cracked me up the other day? As I was browsing Beatport, I'm just looking for some new tunes. And sometimes I go and check out like the DJ playlists, like just some DJs that I follow and uh, what they're up to. And um, someone, <laughs> someone had managed to create all of these DJ playlists and flood them with pictures of escorts with like, it was some real distinct place in India as well, some real it was a really unique form of spam and like all of the tracks were like kind of hot babes in your area and stuff and this is just like on the Beatport website you know kind of like one place that I really wouldn't um, expect to have that kind of stuff so um yeah sorry guys I'm still trying to figure out how to get to my YouTube page because I really don't want to have that, that kind of crap on this channel here Maybe that's it. Here we go. This looks good. Okay. Let's mm, hide user on the channel. Remove hide user on the channel. There we go. And uh, Matt, I'm just going to make you a mod in case they come back. Who else we got in here? Yeah, I assume you're going to be sticking around for a while, Matt. So yeah, any, any more of those, you should be able to click on the messages and, and nuke them. I don't keep my eye on it as well. Okay, back on track. So what was I doing? I really want to build a chord. So I'm just going to duplicate this across. I'm going to raise the pitch of these. Even though this is a bass sound, let's try and use it as a... Whoops. Up to 12, up to 12. So I mean the traditional way of doing this would be uh, just going... This one will go up three semitones, this one will go up five. And that should give us, that should give us a chord, I think. So 
so that's all good but i want to do this with the pitch modulation don't want to get too sidetracked here but so i believe i should be able to go pitch up to 12. yep pitch up to 12 on this one and then try and try and aim for a third yep so there you go there's one example of using the pitches so we can layer three samples and make it to make a chord uh, I'm just going to lock the parameters in place here and let's just try finding a new sample but we'll just go through here and find a synth let's go with that one so I'm going to drag that in there duplicate it across hopefully it should all just It looks like I lost my um, my ability to change the pitch, but that's okay. Anyway, just wanted to prove myself I could do that. Let's move on. So I am going to let's just get a sub going with this. So we'll replace we'll replace this with a sub. We can turn off the locking, bring the pitch down. That's all good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it here. And we just have to make sure that we've got the same thing going on here. And get rid of these notes. That means we also need to cut this off a little bit. So I'm actually going to bring the cut off to the high pass. Let's make this shorter. All right, I'm going to extend this out to eight bars here. Adam Good, this is amazing. And first time I'm seeing Atlas, I was just looking at samplers and to manage samples. But this does that plus awesome fast sequencing just purchased with a discount code. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Uh, thanks for supporting Matt. Um, again, I'm, I, don't, I don't, I don't, well, he pays me to make tutorials, but I don't really work for Atlas, but that makes me really happy because it's a Kiwi company. Good guy. Good product. I fed Atlas my entire sample folder. It scanned it all just fine. One terabyte. Whew. With Wave Cosmos, I uninstalled it after five days. Hadn't even got to 50%. Okay, so let's, yeah, we've extended this out. Let's go for 16. I want to try and make a melody. So let's find a synth sound here. Let's try that one. And let's see what we can get out of the sequencer with this. Nice. I'm going to duplicate this across. This is the alt drag, by the way. And I'm going to put a note here. Go into my advanced panel. Let's reverse this whole thing. Don't know how long the sample is.
Hmm. I'm even going to copy this up to here and put another one in. And I'm just going to use traditional pitch shift here and go for negative 12. That probably means we need to start this way back. Put this one a little bit further. Now I feel like we definitely need a little bit of a drum roll there. So we'll start with one tom. I don't think I put many toms in this pack, but... Uh, where are we? Did I put any toms? We'll go with that one. Um, Uh, we'll just take over the crash for now with a tom, okay. Put that there. Should be able to create a cool roll here. Let's go triplets. I need to go fast actually. And we'll attach that to the pitch. Bring that down. We'll go 12, we'll see how that sounds. Turn it off with the gain. Bring the gain up a little bit. Not bad. Let's bring the pitch up a little bit and let's just shorten this quite a lot. It's a bit too short. I feel like these could be nudged a little bit. Here's a feature request for you, Matt. Um, maybe it's actually doable, but I'd love to be able to just kind of quickly skip to this part of the timeline so I can work on just this area here. Um, I don't know if I could do that with copy and paste or with the polyrhythmic length. Um, we could just rotate everything like this. And then rotate it back. There we go, found a solution. I don't know if I like the triplet. Definitely need a, a crash there, so let's go and find a nice crash. Again, if you're just joining us, we are building a content pack which will be available for free for Atlas on the 2.3 update. Just give me a few days to finish it first. But you can go and grab the uh, sample pack I'm using, it's called the Cosmiverse, pack, uh, Cosmiverse Map. Um, and you can do that on the demo as well. Sounds good. Let's put that over the cross where the shaker is. Uh, so we need to put that here and bring the volume of that up. It's all good. And now we can just rotate that back. Cool. If 
feel like we should do the same thing with the snare actually. So let's just rotate that back again. Uh, go into our 30 seconds. Did the snare have any advanced modulation on it? No, so that's okay. Let's rotate that back again. That was cool, rotating on 30 second note mode. It's kind of disabled the shuffle. I feel like we need one more Tom. So this... Uh, I do like this list view, it's, it's how I'm used to working. Let's use that one. Uh, what are we not using? We're not using open hi-hat. Okay, so let's put a tom in there. This should be all good. going to muck around with these other samples. Let's bring the filter down just so we can do some cool little uh, little variations, maybe some you guys get that? Thirty seconds as well. That's too much. Alright, how many slots we got left? Let's have a look. Other and other. Let's go for a pad. Let's see what we've got in the pad realm. How about some strings? That sounds good. Let's chuck that in there. That's got a bit of an attack on it. Uh, maybe that'll work in our favor. Uh, so just again, I'm going to use this rotate trick so I can get that kind of last bar happening. In fact, I'm going to rotate it back here. Let's give that a lot of fade in mm -hmm. and it looks like we have two more slots to use um, you don't have to use them all but I'm quite intent on using them let's try and find a, another bass sound we can use This is going to be so much fun when we do dub and glitch. Let's try that one. Uh, so what are we saying we're not using? This one here. Uh, 
here. Bring the filter down and the gain up. Thank you for the follow, Cold Storage. Welcome along. And Delphi. And Shonky Industries. A few other people. Thank you. We've got one more track here. Uh, I just want to try and experiment with the filter cutoff on that lead. In fact, let's just save this real quick. Uh, TC chill one. this on the pan and bring the pan over this way and a bit of random pan And one last sample, what shall we use? We could use the Foley. Yeah, let's do that. So that's the sample here. We might as well just chuck this in over the whole thing just for fun. Right, I am happy with that for the chill. It um, definitely turned out different to what I was anticipating. Uh, let's just go TC chill two. Awesome. I guess at this stage I'll ask um, if, if anyone has any questions on what I'm doing or Atlas or anything to do with I was gonna say life but maybe you don't want my advice on life um, let me know now I'm just gonna shoot off and grab some water and I will be right back I'll leave this playing uh, just before I go eat my fractals um, I wouldn't say it's a new VST it's been around for a while uh, it's uh, coming up with a storm it's um, a kind of AI smart sample management software. You can use it as a VST. I'm using it as, as a standalone today because I'm just creating some content packs. Um, but it can be loaded into Ableton Live or just anything, I'm pretty sure, any, any DAW, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's just completely changed my workflow when I work with drums and beats. Really, really sped things up. 
go check it out. Um, you can get a trial two weeks, I believe, with um, full features. And you can download this pack that I'm working with today. Okay, guys, be back in two minutes. Thanks for sorting that spam out there. Appreciate it. Um, just looking at how we can ban them. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with my chat overlays. It'd be nice to have the um, be nice to have the chat popping up. It doesn't seem to be doing its thing. So um, chat box. I've, I haven't streamed for quite a while, and like everything tends. To change quite a lot. I don't seem to be getting any. Maybe if I put it at the top here. Hmm. I'm just going to type a test in the chat, see if that pops up. Let's get rid of that. It's just good for the people who um good for the people who are watching the replay of this just so they can see what's going on. Okay, so we have a chat box now. Oh there we go. Okay, that seems to be working. Maybe if I just change the Visual settings, background color. Let's just do another quick test.
We'll move on, Hoose. We'll move on. Alright, let's just roll with that. Okay, quick recap. Um, this was the chill one, which I believe I have saved. Let's go to our dub techno loop. Just have another quick listen to that. Really like that technique of using the um, the velocity on the cutoff to get that dub effect there. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's move on. So the next one we have, ooh, Electro House. Okay, let's go for it. So I'm gonna hit split here on my thing. Again, if you're just joining us, we're going through the new features of Atlas 2.3 and I'm creating a content pack with a bunch of original samples that will be a free download uh, in a few days. Um, but for now, you can go and grab this in the browser of Atlas under the uh, packs available. It's called the Cosmiverse pack. And here it is here. Electro House, eh? It's a genre I haven't really played with in a while. Now, Electro House, I mean, it's... Electro House, when I was getting into it, was a lot different than it is now. Back in my day, um, these days it seems to be like the mainstream stuff that's classes in Electro House. It's just like... Dun, 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 and then samples of people like... Here's the drop! <clears throat> and it's just kind of... I don't really know, like, full respect to it, but it's... Electro House to me was kind of, I think it morphed into complex, Complextro or Complexo or whatever. It was kind of just really heavy, lots of uh, bass stabs and things coming out of the out of nowhere. So I'm going to be building one of those for this particular one here. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you can't see the text right here, 40% off if you check out with the code COSM. That's a lot. Um, I forget what the pricing is. I think it's $99 without the coupon. Um, so take off 40% of that. That's a bit. Okay, Electro House. Let's go. Speed running. Let's go. Let's go 130. Let's get more of a poppy kick. And let's, let's get a snare in there. Let's put in anything for now. There we go. Bring the gain down a bit, bring the shape down a bit. Let's get some open hats. I've got all my stuff mucked up a bit. There's my open hats. Here we go. I'm gonna put open hat here, closed hats here. Yeah, go for that one. Complex throw, yeah, I don't know, just just a 4-4 beat, quite driving with lots of glitchy bass sounds. That's what I'm after. I used to write write a lot of this stuff back in the day, and I still do sometimes. Let's just use velocity for the, the drums here. We don't really need to focus too much on being fancy with these. Okay, let's just load up eight bass sounds in these top eight slots. Let's go here with that. So I'll go back to my list view. Good. Good. Nope. Good. And the cool thing about these is, remember some of them I've made incredibly long and morphing and so we can actually choose the sample start time so we can get quite a wide range of sounds out of these. That sounds good. That sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, you know what? Let's replace these. I'm going to have uh, uh, 12 bass sounds here. This is all about bass. It's going to get pretty gnarly. Okay, for fun, let's just go like this, see what happens. And we'll go back down again.
I'm gonna select all these and bring the shape down. Fucking hell, love the software. <laughs> and we're done, speed run done. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and drag this out to eight bars. We'll get a bit of call and response going on here. I like that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with that. Let's go. Let's mix these up a bit. Here is something I'm curious about. I haven't actually tested this. Um, this may not work, but I'm going to select all of these and bring the filter down for all of them. Did that work? It did. Okay, that's awesome. So now we can... I'm going to also bring the resonance up for all of them. It is, it is a little bit trancy actually, if we were to put this up into kind of the Psy realm. But we're going to keep it down around the 130. Vocal cuts and chops into Atlas. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have a lot of uh, original vocal samples to add to this pack. Um, maybe if I do another pack we will get the mic out and do some stuff. Okay, let's do a bit of... A bit of shaping here. I want one more epic sound, but we're using all of our slots, so let's choose one of these that doesn't that we might be able to repeat. Whoops. Okay, let's go for this. So we've kind of freed up this now, so let's put in a real screamy sound. Maybe that. This one, let's try to pitch it up 12. Nope. We'll make the playback quite short. We do have Psy coming up in quite a while. <laughs> Not sure about this sample just yet. Let's go back and see what else we got. Might as well try that. It didn't lock my parameters, which was slightly annoying, but. I'm just going to lock these and let's try the similar samples.
try 30 second notes here for fun. Uh, do we have shuffle on? No. So what I'm going to do is every second beat here, I'm going to bring the velocity down a bit. So that should give us not really a shuffle in the time sense, but it should give us kind of a kind of a very fast call and response type thing here. This is no good. I will save that for the next. I'm just going to slow it down a lot just so I can listen to the individual hits. I'm happy with that. Let's bring that up to 130. Yeah, Lucas, welcome to the team. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and extend this out now to 16. Um, at the end here, I definitely want to do the triplets. I'm going to use the nudge trick again. Now we can go into triplets we should probably do this with all of the elements um, let's rotate this back let's do a real crazy series of 30 second note ones here Is this going to work? See how I'm kind of alternating from low to high velocity, high to low? He says without listening to it. Hmm. Maybe six length for this. And sixteenth for us. Feel like the velocity is too low there. Yep, you can load your own samples. You can create your own uh, your own maps. So this one here, which I'm going to change to um, not ram ranch uh, so you can see this just has my spice sounds folder in it which is on my g drive where i've just got most of my samples um, you can add a whole bunch of new folders you can add various various things um, advanced options to add just specific file types or things like that hit build and then you get a beautiful map um, we're currently using the cosmverse one What's going on here? I'm going to nudge, uh, rotate this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10, 14, 15, 16. Nearly. Oh no, I did it in triplet mode. That is going to bite me. I 
I do like that. So I'm just looking for nice little 30 second note fills that I can add in here using the velocity which again remember is attached to the filter. Um, it's not currently attached to the shape. Maybe I should make it attach to the shape. Uh, we could ruin everything but let's try it. Let's see what happens if I bring this down. Nah, that takes a bit of magic away for this. Maybe on this one though because we're doing fast notes. Make sure we turn velocity off. And for this last little run here, Yeah, fuck it. Lots of fast ones. Thank you for the follow, Gab. Uh, sorry, Gab Cabo. Nah, that's too mad. That's too mad. Oh, we're doing 30 seconds, sorry. Let's try it. <laughs> Jeff Switzer, welcome. Over on Twitch. Uh, sorry if I'm missing some questions. Yeah, so as Matt says, export to MIDI and audio. So I can just click on export on my sequence here. You'll see that we can render this as a MIDI clip. We can choose what tracks we want to include in that MIDI clip. Um, so we can do none or all of them, or if you just want the kick and the snare. And we just simply hit render. And now we can either open that file, which is saved as a MIDI file on our computer, or we can simply drag it directly into a DAW or whatever you're working with MIDI with. Um, we also have audio as well, so same thing again, we can render the mix down, which is the entire loop, or we can render the individual stems. Uh, there's also a normalize option and some cool loop features, so you can kind of render it as something that's meant to be looped, or we can render it with a tail if we like. Uh, so it's pretty pretty powerful, and yeah, again, so seamless with a DAW. Um, you know, I, maybe I want to do something on the piano roll in Ableton Live, which is what I use. Um, I can just export this as MIDI, drop it in, and it sends the right notes to the Atlas VST, and then I can do some more editing in the um, piano editor. Let's say if you wanted some notes that are kind of off the grid, of, for example, and then you can just literally drag that file back into Atlas. So, and that works with samples as well, like drag and drop is really, really versatile. Very good workflow. Um, Matt's put a lot of work, in my opinion, into the little nuances that make this a, a pleasure to work with. So, you know, finding samples and building kits and stuff can be a real chore. Like, I often blow myself out. I get, well, you know, sonic stagnation, just trying to pick the right kicks and snares and stuff. This gets rid of that. Um, and it just keeps me motivated and allows me to keep writing, which is a win in my books. Okay. 
I gotta do something epic at this last little thing here. Let's go. I might just attach the pitch to this one. And then let's just put a nice low note here. Maybe we go up. Hmm. So I will get rid of the filter. Hmm. I'm going to try a different track. That's cool, we'll leave that one. Wait. Yeah, let's do it on this track. Uh, well, where are we here? Cool, okay, now we nudge all this back again so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 any plans to allow melody sequencing with one shots? I'm going to back out of answering that question Matt if you wanted to say things I think I need to click 32 times You know what? I'm happy with that. Let's just power right ahead. That is a fucking sick loop. Uh, so that was Electro House 1. And of course these are going to be available once I do finish this pack. They'll be available uh, under the Packs Available um, subfolder in the browser over here. Yeah, nice. Cool, uh, so what do we have next? Chill step. Chill step. Make this one quite moody, I think. Quite quite well, emotional. We'll see how we go. We're going good. We've made three loops in <laughs> two hours. This may turn into a bit of a marathon stream. But I'm fine with that, if you guys are. Let's just bleach our ears. Let's go back to our um, dub techno. Have a listen. Nice. Good night, Megapixel. 3.40 9am, you're off for work in 4 hours. Nah, that's the life, isn't it? And let's listen to... Uh, the Chill. Alright, let's go ahead and make chill step so again you know these genres are kind of my idea of what it might be if there's a people out there that are really into one of these particular genres and I don't quite get there I do apologize but that's more of a guideline I mean a feature if you don't know about this feature new sequence from browser it's just going to grab 
a loop from anything that I've got in the browser and apply it to the current drum kit. So I could go, um, let's take it, let's take the Electro house loop that I just did. And let's go ahead and put the dub techno drum rack on there. Okay, let's put the dub techno sequence and we'll put the Electro house rack on there. We can just go new sequence. What the fuck? So good. More spam, more spam. Let's get rid of it quickly. Get it all nearly. It's definitely a new account each time the um the spam comes through. It's a bit crafty. It's okay, we'll we'll battle the spam bots. So let's put the chill drum kit on that one. Whoa. Okay. Back on track. We have done Electro House. We're on to chill step. Let's make it a four beat loop. And let's go new kit. Mm -hmm. So this will probably be, I don't know, what should we go for? I'm going to put a kick and a snare. Sounds good. I'm going to do something a little bit different with the kick and the snare here. I'm going to pitch this right up. I'm going to drag the snare across to duplicate it. And let's put them both in there. I'm going to change this to 8 bars. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the velocity on the gain for this snare. So we're just going to have very minimum velocity and I'm going to add time delay. So we should be able to get a sloppy second snare in there. On time, off time. So you can see how that time delay modulation is just delaying it a little bit. That's cool. Let's find a, a different sound. Maybe that. We'll pitch that up as well. Need to bring that time delay up again. Not bad. Um, I'll just grab a sub. Let's go for this one, which has quite a lot of noise in it, but that'll be fun. So we'll put that here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in eighth notes, I guess, here. Can you use the stock sounds from Ableton Packs for maps? Yeah, maybe um, Matt, you can explain the, the problem there. Let's change this up a little bit. Doesn't sound like much at the moment, but we'll get it singing. We'll go into the advanced tab. Let's give this a much shorter playtime. Bring the filter down. We'll go into the modulation. Um, I will, okay, we'll bring the filter down. And 
and let's attach that to the shape. I'm going to copy across the sub onto another track so we can do some interesting stuff with pitch. So um, I'll bring pitch up to 12. We also need to bring this shorter. It's starting to sound good. I think some very very sparse percussion here, maybe a ride or two. Yeah, let's put a ride here. Another ride here, and we'll go one closed, one open. for that one and one open hat yeah Picture this up. Hmm. Sounding good. Let's go ahead and choose some of those nice kind of harmonically rich bass sounds. Sounds good. That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, okay, let's just put some of these in. Add a couple of these in here. Maybe more. Hmm. Thanks for the reply. I had the trial version for 10 minutes and purchased it instantly. Nice, that's a good sign. Momentology, what's up? How are ya? Good to see you in here. Let's get a cutoff on that. Uh, 
Let's go triplets. It's nice to be streaming again. I know I've taken a bit of a break from content recently. I've um, got a lot on my plate, some really, really cool stuff. And unfortunately, that means I can't stream as much as I'd like. All right, what are we going to do with uh, these extra slots? Let's have a look. Let's do some Foley stuff. That's quite cool with the, the sub. If you've got a good sub with headphones, you might be able to hear that. Let's put that in here. Might even get rid of these bass notes and just try and use this as a sub. Let's bring the volume right up. Push it down, up a little bit, let's uh, move this across a bit to where the good stuff is, What else we got in the foley? Should we try it? Ooh. Needs to be pitched down just a little bit to get the triplet feeling. That's cool. That's super cool. Don't know if I like this one. Oh, we got bongos. Maybe we should use those. using that. Let's try this. Okay, okay, let's extend this out now to 16 beats. Starting to get a bit faster at this, which is, uh, which is good fun. We're not using this here. Um, what do we got in the chord department? In the pad department. Let's put that in there. So this is going to be pretty loud and obnoxious. I'm going to push this right down to negative 12 and let's bring the cutoff right down. Put the start point in the middle somewhere. Be 
know I say? It's kind of the wrong key though. talking about pickle on two interesting features would be the triggering of sequences with the keyboard live and MIDI structuring as on poly and play Matt says multiple sequence patterns with triggering is definitely on the to-do list Ooh, that's exciting what's up Jeff been a while since I messed with Algonaut. Is it possible now to drag my folder with lots of subdirectories of samples into the browser sidebar and have that directory structure mirrored there? Maybe be able to see, maybe be able to assign little image icons to each folder. I imagine Matt is typing <laughs> an answer to that as well. There are a few things um, I'm not too sure about. There we go. Maybe we add some pitch to that. Down to seven. Undo. That little creaky sound at the start. Don't know if that's quite right. Can we get this in time? Don't think I recorded it perfectly in time. I think that's me bringing my thumb down over a comb. Momentology, since I'm pretty late to the stream, I'm wondering if you went over how to integrate this into a live setup with your launch pad or a push, like making a beat on a fly over a track, you are DJing. Probably not in this stream, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty focused on just creating this this content pack. I'm not, I don't plan on loading it up into Ableton Live. I have, haven't actually thought about using this in a live situation before, but you've got me thinking now. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have this hooked up to record stuff. There is a bit of a delay. I mean, it's definitely doable. It's definitely something you could load up inside Ableton Live, um, just output the MIDI to Atlas and just use whatever devices to to build your, your loops. Let me, let me think on that. When, when we get to a, a, a part of the stream where I'm having a, I want to have a bit of a break from creating these loops, then perhaps we'll get onto something there. Um, but yeah, interesting thought. 
just really want to sort out this clicky sound. What if I go real slow? Let's reverse it, see what happens. Yeah, the problem is I didn't record, all of these aren't perfectly kind of in time with each other. I think I like it though. What about if we put it somewhere else? So just finding a little dance between the start point and when I trigger it. it might even go into 30 second mode. Yeah, I've never actually thought about using it in a live situation. That's that's a cool suggestion. I wonder if I have a bit of Foley sound that's more in time. Let's just go through them really quick. These are buttons on an old Tascam multi-track recorder. That's my cat, or our cat. Came up to me while I was walking around the house like a weirdo with a microphone. Thought I'd chuck that in. Little Easter egg. It's me ripping up an envelope. It's me cutting a potato. My gas cooker. Is that the one I'm using already? I may be able to use that. Let's just get. Um, let's just start it here. That's pretty cool. Here we go, yeah. This pad, that's cool, it adds a lot of mood, but I feel like we can do something better. Maybe just another chord. Am I still playing the chord? Oh no, what did I just delete there? There we go. So it's this one. that one let's reverse that see what happens this is very long no it's 
too much. Should we try my cat? Let's make it super low pitch. Let's reverse it. <laughs> Let's go down even more. I kind of like that. Nice. Um, let's just add one more thing at the end here, and then I think I'm going to move on from this one. Uh, let's, so let's do the old nudge forward. Maybe some really fast little hi-hats. Mm. A big long sweep. Reckon. Maybe not the cat, eh? Is this the cat? Yeah. Maybe the um the knife. Let's uh, change the attack time on that. I do kind of like the idea of just one chord there. Piano. Yeah.
Let's bring the rides modulation down on the pitch. Cool. Can you time stretch samples leaving the pitch the same? Not currently. Um, which, again, this is really focused on a drum hit style thing. Uh, you know, things are moving into the melodic realm, but um, for drum hits, having the pitch, being able to adjust the speed as well is really handy. For example, when we were doing the, uh, the scrapey sound, like this first sound here, just being able to fine tune that so it's in time. Which, you know, you could do if there was an algorithm for retaining the pitch, of course. One last thing, let's give filter to this and just have this short. Awesome, I'm going to save that one. TC, chill step one. And again, let's just have a quick listen to what else we've done. We'll go for chill. Hey, Cal, Cal, and Katari. Glad you like it. Can you save your custom drum kit layout as the default kit? Uh, I believe when you load, I don't actually know, maybe another one for you, Matt. Um, I mean, it's really easy to just have your kits available and just drag a kit in like that. That's it. You know, so we could put in the um, the chill step kit from what, what, the one I just used into the loop of this one. Quite keen to hear the electro house sequence. This is a real cool sequence. And then here's our dub techno. All right, two minute break. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. If you're just joining us, building a content pack for Atlas 2.3, which was just released today. A whole bunch of new and exciting modulation options for using the velocity to control the pitch or the shape or the filter or the pan or the time delay of the sample. Having a lot of fun building a pack. This pack will be free in a few days when it's completed. And as of right now, you can download the map that I'm using, which is the Cosmiverse map. And if you want to check out the trial, you can still follow along. You can export, save, do whatever for two weeks, unrestricted. Also, we have a 40% off. I'm going to keep shilling it. That's a lot, guys. That's a big discount. 40% off the regular price if you use the code COSM. Okay, we have done the chill step. Let's click on that. Next is Garage Baseline. I think this is going to be quite similar to the Electro House. I'm going to approach it in a similar way and that I'm going to drop in heaps of different bass stabs and just build like a simple kick. But we'll do more of a kind of a two-step style kick. We'll get it quite poppy. So let's get rid of everything here. We'll go new kit. Let's go four bars. And let's just put in a real basic. 
give it shuffle straight away. We'll go shaker. Not bad, let's layer it with a clap. Hmm. Let's have two identical claps and let's nudge one of them. Let's nudge this back. Hmm. I'm even going to go into 30 second notes here. Let's attach the shape to this. Repitch that. And put open hats in. Hey. Okay, let's go ahead and find some cool bass sounds. I want more stabs, so let's start at the end here. We can make that a stab. Give it a little bit of sustain. Uh, this one. Let's go call and response for this one. Let's put a bit of effort into that. So we'll make this eight bars now. And let's just put this here. Let's just go straight to 16. Put these here. Kind of stick with this offbeat pattern for the call. Oh, that should be there. That there. Put in a note here, 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 and here. Now let's find some big sounds for those. Here. I'm going to use choke groups here, so um, I may get this. I may get this wrong, so I'm going to put these in choke group one. I'm also going to put these in choke group one, and hopefully they should cut the end of the sample, the long sample when it plays. I don't think it does. Mm. 
What am I doing wrong, Matt? I think I don't think choke choke groups take into account the actual end part of the sample. That's okay. We'll do it here. How long was that one? We can just look at this. One second. Okay. One second. One second. One second. So of course, let's go ahead and put filter modulation on these. And we'll do the same for all of these. Uh, give all these lots of res. This one can be changed. Oh shit, I didn't lock the params. It's got no... no sub to it, that one. We go down an octave. the start time of this across a bit. I'm going to move these across by two beats. Still not happy with that. Maybe that. Oh, is that what we used originally? Tell you what I'll do. Let's replicate this. need to be changed now a little bit shorter. Eight seconds maybe. Ah, uh, that would be a cool feature to have. Matt, if you're still watching, is um, have the seconds relative to what the 30 second 16th notes are, kind of like a separate ruler. That's 
too aggressive. I'm going to use the other channel here as a sub. So what I'm going to do is bring the high pass up on, well, I guess I choose all of these. Now let's go ahead and put a sub in there. to be short. Cool. And I'll use this Tom for another sub. Let's do pitch mod. Tom. Cool name. And we need to adjust the playback of this to around eight seconds. More spam. Ah, thank you. Maybe a bit of shape on this one. Not happy with that sound either. Could do that. Let's uh, let's nudge everything. Let's get the sample start a bit further. to kind of open up from really short to really long so maybe we need to extend that out and give that some shape some filter
little snare roll. This sound, this is the last thing I'm going to work on. Not sure about this one. It's got quite a few harmonics, maybe if we go low. put get rid of the filter and put shape on this one turn off the velocity is that cool swing maybe randomly pan all of these ah and we need to nudge everything back here Nearly there.
still not quite happy with that last one. Something simple. This last little piece here. Something simple, maybe. Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm happy with that one. That was cool. Uh, that was TC. I'll just call it garage. Uh, it's not really garage, but that's what my brain does when I get told to make garage. Okay, let's have a quick listen to the previous ones just to cleanse the palette. Chill step. Dub techno. Electro house. And garage, which we just did. I'm going to take another two minute break and I'll be right back. We'll move on to minimal techno. All right.
one more minute guys and we'll move on. Okay. If you're just joining us, we're creating a content pack for Atlas 2.3. We're powering through the genres. We've done dub, techno, chill, electro house, chill step, garage, baseline, and now we're doing minimal techno. So let's just jump in and do that. Excuse me. Minimal techno. When I say minimal techno, I kind of mean fast and pretty intense but more hypnotic rather than the more mainstream kind of blow your brain away kind of thing kind of the more mantra style stuff so this is going to be an interesting one i think we'll stick with let's go 132 let's clear the mm -hmm. sequence let's just get a good um we'll try and get a techno rumble going This is interesting. Let's duplicate the kick. Let's try and use phase cancellation of these two samples here. So I will go ahead and reverse this one and make it quite short. Maybe if I pitch this down like five. So I'm trying to use the, the sub of one kick mixed with the reverse sub of an of the same kick to try and get a boo -boo -boo, a techno rumble type thing hey nice one you won't regret it you won't regret it maybe this just needs to be a little bit detuned Something like this. We definitely get the um, the nice kind of wobble there. Maybe we need to cut the tail of this. And let's nudge this back a bit. We can also put a uh, pitch on this as well. It could be interesting. This also needs to be a different kick, I think.
that's cool. I almost feel like we need to have some higher frequencies on there. So I'm going to copy that across again. Uh, let's copy this. Oh no, that was cut. Paste. Let's paste this in here. And let's see what we've got in the... It's getting there. Yeah, cool. And we'll give this um, pitch. We'll try pitch. No, I liked it there. Should almost just roll with that. We could even like give this a high pass, a bit of filter resonance to extenuate, and maybe put another rumble in here. without that. Now I'm trying to avoid, we've got peak time coming up, um, this is the what I consider to be dark techno. This one I want it to be a little bit more spacey, I guess. Let's get the rides in there. Okay, now I'm pretty confident that we can just extend this out to 16 beats. Uh, what else we've got in here? Perk. Yeah. You may recognize the sound from a stream I've kind of done over the last few months. some filter Yeah. 
is claps. Be nice to have like a more of a long tailed clap there. What's up, GMX? Bit bassy? Yeah, I'm on my biodynamics, so. There'll definitely be an adjustment after I've finished working on headphones with these, but for now. I might even go ahead and layer a snare on this as well, just so we can have something with a long tail. Yeah, that might work. And what I'll do is I'll copy this, paste it here. Do the same again, add the filter. I can also give this some attack so we don't get the hit. Tom, that's me. Let's put some toms in. We will just nudge that a little bit. How we doing? Good to be here. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate those back. This one doesn't really need to be in tune, which is good. Where are those pads at? Might be able to do something cool with that. Let's just go nuts with this for a sec. Let's give it some pitch. Let's turn off this pitch snapping. Nah, I liked it without.
we'll do a similar thing here so this can almost be like the call and then we'll have a response here so we'll just put in this for now and let's find a new sample this one Also need to give that some filter. Down an octave. That's all good, but we need to creep this up and down. slowly opening up over full sixteenth notes. Kind of helps with the phrasing I guess. Let's use polyrhythms. Haven't used that yet. Bring the shape down on that one. I don't know if we'll use all the slots for this one. <laughs> Absolutely chuffed to see the Atlas update. Used XO off and on for a bit, but didn't quite click with me. Cool man, there yeah, have been a few comments like that. Not throwing shade, um, never used it, but seems to be a bit of a common theme. Uh, what am I looking for? Mm. A shaker, that's right. Real simple shaker pattern, we can even use this.
try the polyrhythmic thing. Let's try that one. Let's use random. Let's do random filter. I'm just going to lock these and replace the sample. this out a little bit. Sounded pretty cool. Sounding pretty cool. Again, thanks for deleting the spam. Maybe it is the same account. Uh, remove. I'm going to report it for porn. Maybe that'll do it. Let's um, duplicate this across and we'll copy this, we'll paste it here. So they, hopefully we should be getting two different random things happening at once and we can pan these. Okay, let's do a big build up. We'll use, uh, I'll put some various noise in. I think I've just got some white noise as well. Yeah, let's just use white noise. Don't know how long the sample is. Ah, it's not that long. That's pretty long. So let's give that a really long uh... Hey Matt, we need some curves Alt drag, go on Let's put this over here I uh, know we can use the original noise
and did I have a faller sound? I should have made more fall f fallers. Same again, I'm going to pan this hard to the left, I'm going to copy it across to here, pan this hard to the right, and go for another pitch. Finally, one more hat. Maybe another ride. I, I really enjoyed this one. It's quite a minimal one, but. Uh, well, that was wrong. Oh man, I got rid of my clap there by accident. I don't want to go through my undo history to get rid of it. less resonance on these. Yeah, that's not right, that one.
I'm going to change this as well. Okay. Oh, hang on, no, one more thing. Shakers, little fast rolls at the end. I really, uh, I really like the fast ones. So we will just rotate again. I like this trick. back again all right let's go ahead and save that one TC um, minimal techno Nice one, starting to get a good collection here. Next up we have Glitch, that'll be fun. That'll be um, the same kind of buzz as the Electro House one, but we'll put, I think I'll put quite a bit of effort into making a nice a drum break that sounds quite humanized. Maybe, maybe play around with the shape stuff. Maybe a bit of time delay to get that happening. Um, just have a quick listen to through what we've done and then we'll get working on that one. We're back. Yeah. How's everyone doing out there? 
We're doing good. Still following. It's turning into a bit of a marathon session, but I'm okay with that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the chat, Twitch, YouTube. I am watching, and I believe Matt is still watching the lead dev slash boss man. I'm going to call him the boss man of Elgonaut. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are pushing through. Uh, we just finished the minimal techno, so let's go ahead and work on glitch. Now, I want to really focus on um, the drum beats for the start. I feel like this one's going to take a bit longer than before. Why are you muted? Okay, so let's clear this. I'm going to go and build my kit first, first and foremost. So let's go to our snares. That's a cool snare. I might layer those two. Pitch that up. We need a real high, high one. We'll make this 100, no, 99. Place that one. That's club rhythm. Maybe that. Let's go and find an open hat. I think that'll be a good one. I'm gonna leave this for a for a clap or a rim, so we'll put in an open hat here. So, you know, with velocity, yeah, nice and human. But I want to get, I want to make this sound human. Okay, so first up, shuffle, a little bit. Let's attach the velocity to the shape. Let's go ahead and randomize the shape a little bit. Definitely turn on the velocity mod here, but I'll bring it down a bit. Let's give it some filter. We'll go up this time. Maybe if I duplicate one of these. Let's pan these a bit, random pan. This one I'm going to change to a different hat. I 
And now let's go ahead and find a rim. I haven't put too many rims in this, but let's try it. I had that was kind of doing the same thing as the room now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll with that just for now. Hey, what's up, Alexandre? Do you remember the 2006 prog vibes? Oh man, do I what? Do I what? They've never left me. They've never left. I'm going to put in a sub and I'm going to try and write a nice little tune with it. I'm going to put it on this one. This is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a task, but um quite keen to see how much I can really do this. Can I stretch this up? We'll go into full screen for this. Uh, we need to make sure that we have pitch enabled on the sub. So I want to be able to go, hmm, I want this middle note to be, sorry I'm just thinking in my head here, let's just get these all the right note, I want to be able to go up and down from the dominant. Let's just chuck in something with a C. Just something so I know that we're in tune. Um, the chords are always good. So I'm going to go to my sub, I'm going to go up to plus 17 to write this and then back down to 5. So this is the root. Just do this. Am I going to try key change here? Yeah, I am. The wizard beard is coming along. I know. I think it's still growing. I kind of just wanted to see how crazy it would get, you know. But it doesn't seem to be getting any longer. Um. But I'm also growing, growing the hair out too because I kind of feel like when I'm ready for a transformation I'm, I've got all available options. Okay, so let's think of a little melody we could play. This is usually, usually when I play my keyboard. <laughs>
We're going to be in C minor, G minor. Sorry, I know this is just coming through the mic. I don't have this hooked up to my um, my input. Sorry, but. Let's try that. Just to double check this, I will copy this, we'll paste it into this ride track. Does control V work? No. Okay. And we will f just put in a synth there. Um, something simple. Should we give this the right pitch thing as well? Which was negative 12, and we need to go up to plus, plus five. Mm -hmm. Now bear with me here, oh no, okay. I will need to. Extend this out to eight bars. I might just do it on this track because it's easier. Going to go to G minor next, which is going to be a bit of a feat, but we'll give it a go. So 16. I'm just going to do the nudge or the um, rotate all thing. So now I'm going for. And now we need to we need to repitch this as well. So let's do that. Oh, good, perfect, perfect. rotated this too much oh no no uh.
let's try it. So I'm going to go and copy that onto the sub channel. And I'm also going to rotate it back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's turn that off, turn this on. And now we're going to go down to plus five. So plus five, negative 12, got to remember that. A phrase with two chords and a drum sequencer. Let's fix up these. Just, just pan these a little bit. So we've got a bit of stereo going on. I might try a shaker instead of a hat there. Make sure we lock everything. crash in there we're kind of running out of slots to use for glitchy based stuff so uh, we'll, we'll make it work this one How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to, uh, thank you Lombro and thank you, uh, other people <laughs> really appreciate it. Sorry, I'm a bit slack on those. Um, my alerts aren't really working, but I can kind of see it. So I think I'm going to copy and paste this, um, to all channels that are free. And we'll just go ahead and do the um, the housekeeping stuff. So I should be able to choose these like that, and bring these up to five. Go into advanced, 
bring the modulation down 12 and lock them all. Oh, maybe. No, I didn't select them all. What have I just done? Ah. Oh. Okay, we're still there. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I changed this one. So shift. Uh, right. And this one. Oh, that's a percentage. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just do these manually. Five, 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 that's five, that's five, negative twelve. Lock them in place. Find a bass sound. Nice saw. I'm gonna have to go up to seventeen. Okay, we need to turn off velocity mod for all of these. Uh, block these. This is quite a process, but I'm in enjoying it. While I'm at it, let's just put the filter. Oh, that'll be interesting. Keep accidentally swapping samples out. Getting a little ahead of myself. No, I'm not going to use 64 slots. I've, I've thought about it. I've thought about it, but yeah, I want to stick with 16 for everything for this pack. That's right. We can we can work with this. Hmm. 
See, the ones with the wobbles change timing when they go down low. So in that case, I might skip that one. It's another, another wobbly one, but we'll try it. I use that one. I like that one. Cool. Maybe we can go down uh, negative seven for this. No. Is that just that one? Let's go down seven. All right, let's stick with it. But I also need to. These have turned off again. I did like one like this. Okay, last one. What's up, Brad? What's up, Magnific? Fuck's not. I'm just going to go ahead and save this because I put quite a bit of work into this one. Uh, glitch one. So now it's just a matter of choosing individual notes for each one of the hits. Just got to remember that's our sub so I don't mess with that. Alright, let's just take a lucky dip. Actually, I can just do this. Let's turn all the solos off. So yeah, a bit of a process here, but...
Make sure these are all short. This may not be the way to do things, but I'm going to keep at it. going to talk for a sec while I try and do this. It's a bit of a lucky dip and it's quite hard to go back and forward and undo so might just have to take what we get here. But that's cool. I'm just going to make sure there's quite a bit of variation. Four, five, six. So yeah, yeah, I kind of call this subtractive production, I guess. It's just like flooding everything with the same result with a bunch of different sounds and then just kind of slowly taking stuff away. Uh, I've made countless videos on this, this type of stuff. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do something and just hope for the best here. Hope for the best. I think it'll be good. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. This one's definitely easier to do in Ableton Live, but it is fun to try it. So that's Gonna replace that sound. just cleaning these samples up Spam, spam, spam. Yeah, it's a it's a real hocket style for sure. Asymmetrical, how are ya? Good to see you again. Brad, Atlas is a full door or like an NPC. I guess you could relate it to an NPC in a way. I mean we can play it with stuff. Um it's a it's a it's a smart drum loop creator with a lot of extra features that allow you to really explore things and come come up with a unique loops fast based on samples.
So um, I'd say it's getting pretty close to the legendary door status. Something to sound better. Where's our piano? Ah, shit. Gotta remember to freeze my shit. happy with that. I just might add a little some little kind of embellishment somewhere. Random pan that chord. Uh, with the chord, we will put the shape on it. Uh, no, we won't. This one I quite like. Nero. You know what? I'm gonna stop that one there. That's um that's been a lot of fun. Whew, we wrote a two chord loop in Atlas. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. It may not sound it may not be the best sounding loop, but the fact that we pulled that off is uh I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go TC glitch one. Save that. Uh, no, TC glitch two. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is um, we're definitely not going through these in 15 minute increments but that's okay I'm I'm happy to keep going but I'm gonna 
give my ears a little bit of a break. Uh, I've been doing this for four hours, so I'm going to take five, maybe even ten minutes and just go and stare at a tree or something. Um, I will put on some music for you guys. Actually, let's just go through the loops that we've done. Then I'll take the break and then I will be back at probably 10 minutes to the hour. Um, it's been going really good, really enjoying myself, having fun, um, getting faster as well. So let's once again have a quick listen. Techno. Electro House. Garage. We have our glitch on, which we just did. And a um, minimal techno. Very good. So, <clears throat> just looking for um, some audio to play so people who tune in don't freak out. Hmm. Just looking for something copyright free. I'll do my uh, recess ambient thing. But yeah, if you guys want to stick around, go get a coffee, um, <laughs> go stare at a tree yourself. Uh, we just want to sit there and listen to some ambient music. Iron Imp, hey Tom, don't know if I've ever said hi. Hello. Cool, man. Thanks. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh... Weird, it's almost like... Oh, here we go. Okay, guys, I will be back in roughly maybe 10, 12 minutes. And we will continue on with Roller DMB, Ambient, Tech House, Dark Techno, Heavy DMB, and Psy. See you soon.
two more minutes. And we're back. Let me just do a fade out. Alrighty. So, again, if you're just joining us or you're skipping ahead in the replay video, we are building a content pack for Atlas 2.3 uh, that was released today. I'm putting together a free pack, which is going to be available in a few days when it's finished. Um, so anybody who owns Atlas, or even if you're just running a trial version of Atlas, you can grab the pack that I'm creating today. Uh, right now, you can grab the map. It's called the Cosmiverse, Cosm, Cosmiverse map, which is in the browser. And we got all kinds of cool sounds in there. And that's what I'm using to build this pack with today. Uh, we've done a bunch of different loops so far. I will have a quick listen to them again just before I kick off. And we're kind of doing well, it's not a speed run, but I've got a kind of a counter here just so I can have a bit of a flow of what we're doing. Um, let's just have a quick listen again. <clears throat> I'm all refreshed. Hope everyone in the chat's doing well. Let us know. Here's our chill one. Chill step. Dub Techno Electro House Hey yeah Harris What's up? Garage They all sound very me don't they? <laughs> Not much we can do about that uh, glitch That's one I might polish up at some stage, but anyway, let's move on minimal techno Okay, and we are moving on to Roller DMB So this is yeah, this one's going to be fun. We'll start with the drums. So new sequence, uh, trash the sequence. We'll get a new kit in here. Just woke up. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's just get a snare. Any snare in here. Uh, we need a BPM. Someone give me a BPM for drum and bass. Something realistic. Because at the moment we're at 132. While I'm waiting for a BPM, we'll put in another snare. Wow, 
172 it is. All right. Let's layer a snare and a clap. Wish I'd made more claps for this pack. Let's do some bongos. Haven't done that yet. that theme we'll add the shape mod to that Shakers. And let's sort these out. What I'd like to do is have a reverse clap. This is going to be interesting. We'll just uh, copy that across. Actually, a snare is probably a better idea. Let's try that. We'll go into advanced and reverse it. Hmm. It might be better. Okay. So we're definitely going to need a sub. So let's use this ride as a sub. I only included uh, three subs, I think, just because, I mean, yeah, it's just a sine wave. Uh, one of them is dirty as. We're going to do the rhythm of the bass line. Let's make this 16. Uh, 
let's change the pitch of this. Mm. I'll just go up 24 while I build this. down again. I'm not quite happy with that. So as before, we'll copy this and we'll, uh, was that cut? Yeah. We'll copy this and we'll paste it into a new track and just put some kind of higher harmonic bass on there. So that one's not quite right. Now I want to play with the time delay and do kind of a kind of a sloppy hit. Like this one. So we can go into advance and we can apply time delay to the velocity. So let's make these really short. So this should be in time and it should allow us to give this a real kind of sloppy. sound needs to change. pass on the sub that's stupid
Now I'd like to complement that and layer it with another sound. Maybe that. This is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, so I need this to go in the reverse, I think. So if we do reverse time delay. we should be able to give that filter I almost think the sub now needs to be doing a similar thing. That means we're going to have to give that, yeah we can do this, time delay as well. What do we give this one? 139. Turn it off my headphones here. Yeah, creative displacement. I like that term actually. That's really, really good. I always call it slop. Maybe we save this. I think I can get rid of the pitch on this and just because I feel like we're just going to use the same sub note and that means I can do the shape thing because I do want to be able to
Okay, let's get another bass sound in there. That's cool. Yeah, we'll go with that time delay as well. We have used that already, but I might use it again. that a bit. Cool. Long tail on this so we'll get rid of the tail. We don't really need it. Get rid of the pitch on that as well. I think I'll lose pitch for most of these. sample. That's fine. Now something screamy. do with this one is reverse it see what we get
give that one some pitch. Spread the love. How's the spam going, guys? Shot, Matt. I appreciate you. And the guy that made the software is just literally in my chat, killing spam robots. You're a real champion. I quite like that. If I do this. sound. Reverse. Got to go back here. filling the congas so let's go for um i had rooms didn't i that could be cool oh, i haven't given the shuffle i wonder if that'll help Yeah, we'll get rid of this as well. I'm really liking this one. Really liking it. What's up, Iron Imp? How are you? 
Congrats on making this very interesting software. Oh, that's not me. Oh well. <laughs> Good on you, Matt. I think one big hit at the start would be nice. Oh, we've got two free channels, okay. Ooh, Foley, I forgot about those. Let's do one Foley. of our real estate I might get rid of the club then rotate all of these across so we can just listen to that last bar To do the little fills in here. That's fine. Thank you. 
That's the reverse snare, isn't it? With the reverse snare, what we can do here is we can put this on pan. So we can have one on that side, one on this side. That's cool. Hmm, do I need to offset this? Almost good with this one. So I'm not convinced that Foley sounds right. A long one. I'm happy with that, eh? a little bit heavier. Okay, roller DMB done. TC roller DMB one. Happy with that. How's everyone going over in the chat? I'm getting a bit focused now. I've been doing this for five hours. So if I start slowing down with my talking, I do apologize. It's just I'm 
but I'm still here. All right. As usual, just going to have a quick listen to what we've done already and then take one, two minutes break. Oops. Go tick my first. Glitch. Techno. See you later, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, I'll be back in two minutes and we'll move on to all ambient is next. That's going to be a challenge. amazing grind we are going to move on to ambient now which i have no fucking idea how we're going to do but i figured that's a pretty good challenge to try and make in this there's certainly a lot of probably samples that when slowed down will be pretty trippy so let's delete that let's delete our kit as well let's bring the bpm down to 20 <laughs> and let's go let's just get some noise first There was some rain. Let's use that. Okay, let's chuck that in there. See how long that sample is. Cool. We'll trigger it, trigger it again here. Okay, we can do this. Uh, let's look at the pads, see what we have. Let's definitely use that one. So we'll put that in. And let's open this up. Let's go down 12. Open this up. Make this fade in and out. Let's copy this across. We'll put another one here. Not too far. Mm -hmm.
fades out too quickly unfortunately. Let's just take it all down two semitones. See what we get there. Quite like that. Okay, this we're going to make pitched. We'll go up to 10. Let me just rotate this all around so we can write a little melody halfway through. Nice to have a looping mode in this map. Put some filter modulation on that. Wrong one. that one mm -hmm. Atlas on your phone how good would that be What we can do to get this even lower is bring the pitch down.
some more rotating. Nervous, this. Nope, we're all with that. Okay. This is quite nice. Maybe we could we could create kind of an LFO amplitude sub base. Okay, let's reverse this back. This is quite nice. I don't even know where the start is. I guess it's where... Here? No. Okay, let's just fill the rest up with Foley sounds. Yeah, it's my gas cooker. That's the fan of my range hood. Let's come on. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. One more. Cat. Okay. Whew. We're getting somewhere. Giving these long attacks and delays, uh, releases. And then kitty. Okay, let's see if this is any good. How's that for ambient? I quite like that sudden note there. One more time. You're just tuning in and wondering what the hell is this? We're using Atlas 2.3 to build a content pack. I've set myself a whole bunch of genres and we're doing ambient, which has been a real challenge considering this is a drum machine. I really like that.
Okay, ambient done. Next on the list, Tech House. Let's jump right ahead and do that. Wait for the tails. Ah, oh, that was so nice. Right, new sequence. Uh, whoa, these are all kind of screwy. Let's just, um, of course I triggered them again. There's no way to stop. Tick house, 123. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should probably find ourselves, we'll find ourselves a clap. And a nice hat. You guys know this one? So this one I want to be a little bit funky. That's a good tick house bass. on this one Why not? Okay. Definitely use the bongos for this one. some shuffle One more bass sound. Put the cutoff filter on that one. A little bit of randomness on the filter. Let's get 
some closed hats. More spam for you. roll at the end. Mm -hmm. Now let's get back some chords. Development. Uh, we haven't used Tom's much. Let's drag this out to eight bits. Give that some pitch mod as well. I feel like these bass hits could do with some filter stuff. Uh, we've got pitch on that. I don't think that'll matter. Getting there. some random pen. Now similar to how we did with the glitch track I think I want to use some reverse snares. Actually let's use foley sounds. So let's try and find some that are quite sucky uppy. Like that. So we're not using this. Wrong one. Then we just need to draw our curves here. Make 
could be cool. that one playing there for Go ahead and put another um, snare in there. Oh, let's no, let's use more foley's, but let's use like a hit sound. Hmm. Okay, let's expand this out again. How are we doing in the chat? Still good? Still hanging in there? Five and a half hours, not bad. Not bad. Mm, just one big sore wave. I know I've got some here. opening up a saw wave like this, see what happens. Bad. 
Let's have it come down instead. got left. Let's do a little melody. Can I pull this off? fishing here let's try a different synth sound a lock. Maybe if we use a bass and pitch it up. Let's just try a chord first. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. 
Is there something we're not using? How are we doing? Yes, yeah, still going, still going. I don't think I'm going to make it through the whole list today, but I'm going to give it a good honest go. This one, awesome. So where are the pads? That I just do. Was that important? Oh, yeah. Filter on that. a little clap roll here with that that is check us oh. still uh, no, I'm not giving up I'm not giving up let's do some more um, just gonna have a quick listen to what we've done 
nice to refresh the ears and uh, yeah uh, let's go for ambient first I really like this one, eh? Roll the DMV. Minimal techno. Glitch. Electro house. This one makes me think the Psy one is going to be really fun. Dub techno. Chill. Step. Chill. And back to Tick House. Okay, next up we have a dark techno. Okay, this one's going to be pretty intense. Good, 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 good. Let's go 135. I really want to try that technique again of using the reverse kick for some weird noise. Um, Okay, so they're playing at the same time. Let's detune them a bit. Let's try that one. That's what I'm talking about. So this one we will give it some attack. Uh, let's reverse it. we go down one semitone to our kicks <clears throat> I might even overlay another kick here no I can definitely get rid of the mm -hmm. low end on that one Let's go ahead and put a hat. Mm -hmm. No velocity.
that's not what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and just make this nice and long. Can I do an arpeggiator? I'm getting quicker and quicker at the melodic stuff, we might as well. I'm going to try and do an arpeggiator, but we'll use the um, polyrhythmic looping here. Find a bit of synth sound. Matt says, what the hell, you're doing ARPs now? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's do a two octave ARP, because why not? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six.
Let's just try four. I'm gonna try some different sounds again. I'll try bass, bass sounds. the sense. Sister Sixtum, welcome. SJ Cong Congo, welcome as well.
Who is doing well? I'm going to copy this to here. Oops. I'm going to copy this content. Content. Paste it. Chorus. And let's give a little bit of random to the pitch. to that sound there let's fix that to tie it all together.
That's definitely the techno one, eh? back on velocity on these apps a little bit more I'm quite I quite like how this is going it's getting pretty uh pretty well what's up Toodle Dub how are you HG local so I'm gonna solo one of these I'm going to have to nudge this over again.
Mm. Am I going to write out this whole epigiator? I think I am. I really want to see this through. Okay, let's trash all of this, bring this out. for an E flat <clears throat> the time is 646 Oh, this one's got the weird random shit. Let's go to that. So what I'm doing here is I'm using one octave of one sound to do an up, and then I'm shifting it down. I'm using a separate drum pad so I can get down to like some lower notes to kind of finish it off. So it's like a two part thing. But we've got a random pitch. to listen to the whole thing again. Hmm. Negative 21. Maybe not. Easier if I do this. Hard to get these low notes sometimes. Spam, spam, spam. Now 
And we'll just do another one of these. This should be worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's save that because that was fucking hard, man. It was fun, but uh. I wouldn't want to lose that. Last little bit. What is this on negative nine? Yeah, it's something. Let's uh, get it back to the start. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to just be a drum machine, but um, I'm using it how it's not really meant to go, but kind of is. I just need to find a one little complimentary sound for that. my cord 
that's okay. We can replace it. The cord really tied it together. I was looking, looking forward to it. There we go. It's a little bit wild, eh? I think I'm just gonna loop this. I don't think I sh should spend any more time on this. It's getting a bit crazy. What's it starting to remind you of, Tweedle? What do you got? Infected Mushroom. We do have Psy coming up in one, two, three goes. Um, I'm going to see how long I can go through this list. I'm up to six and a half hours. Okay, so now we can use this for something else. Okay, I did it. Didn't really work. Let's move on. Now we can put two more big chords in here. Soloing all the tracks. Let's kill the pitch on that one. Back to this zone. Oh no. What have I done? I've lost myself in a prime number loop or something. I might have found a little problem there, Matt. No. Okay, we have to go this way, and then one of these, and then one of these. No. One of these. Um. Well, how far is your under history? Let's have a look. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, rotating in triplets and then not is not desirable. Nice undo history, bro. Super good, okay. Okay. Did 
don't know if this is necessary. Maybe. Let's just get something down. Paste it here. Fuck that up. Let's try and finish this one up because it's uh, pretty, pretty in my face. I don't know about you guys.
Okay, I'm gonna save that one. That was quite intense. Um, TC. What was that one? Dark. Techno. Oh, I forgot to punch out with the tech house. It's a slight shame. Um, I'm definitely going to keep working on a few more, I think. Let me just split that for now. But I um, I do need to take another kind of 5-10 minute break just to detect on my brain. Um, still got people tuned in. Awesome. You don't have to say anything. That's okay. Let's have a quick listen to what we've done. And then I'll take a short break and I'll come back and we'll tackle heavy DMV. That's pretty crazy. Crazy, man. Okay. Uh, we'll start with ambient because I like it. quickly becoming one of my favorite loops we've made, I think. Okay, chill time. Uh, let's wait for the tails to finish. step go on let's listen to the dark techno one uh whoops where is it i did save it right wait is it this one Oh no, did I not save that? Can I undo? I'm sure I saved that. Did you guys see me? Let's see if I can undo it. Sweet, okay. TC, dark, techno, two. Huh. Anyway, here it is. Yeah, the undo history, I don't know, Matt, if you're still watching, but how many steps is it? Because I went back a lot. Uh, dub techno. Electro house. Garage. Glitch. Infinite undo. There you go, guys. From the man himself. Infinite undo. That's a that's a big call, man. The roller DMB. And let's go tick house. Awesome. I am going to give myself a five to ten minute break get this playing for you again here we go and yeah I will be back shortly guys we will tackle heavy DMB and sigh
One more minute. Alrighty, welcome back. If you're just joining us once again, um, to those who are already here, we are covering the new features of Atlas 2.3 and I'm making a pack. So something that's going to be downloadable for free for people. It'll be available mm -hmm. in a few days. Um, I've got a whole bunch of samples that are original and I'm just kind of putting them into categories and you can see the categories down here. Uh, we've gone through quite a few so far. We've nearly gone halfway, I think. Maybe we have gone halfway. I think I've probably got about two or three more in me. We'll see how we go. It's been six hours and 47 minutes. Um, if you are interested in Atlas, go and download the trial. Give it a check it out. Uh, check it out. You can tell I'm getting tired. And uh, you can download this map that I'm currently using which is called Cosmiverse Map so without further ado let's jump back into it I'll do my amazing SoundCloud fade and to those who are uh, sticking around in the chat if you've made it this far you're doing a fucking good job well done okay split heavy D and B so this one's going to be using a lot of base stabs as well. In fact, let's just grab the stabs now. I'm going to get the most gnarly ones that I can possibly find. Let's go into our map. Let's go into Earthview. That's sick. Okay, let's clear the kit. I'm going to go... We're going to go for 12 base sounds. Let's use the similar samples feature. Grab the stabs. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go back to this view just because I like it. I'm going to use that one as my main kind of bass sound. Is a good one. Yep. We're not gonna muck around with pitch pitching these. That could be cool. Nice. 
These samples have really interesting little tails on them. When I was rendering them out, the effects chain that I was using kind of added a nice little flick. So I've kept them in there. They could be fun to get in and change the sample start time and play with. That one's got one too. So does that one. Actually, I'd quite like to try and reverse these, see what they sound like. Okay, let's do that. No. No, let's make some drums. Let's just go classic. We'll do another 173er. Yeah, we're gonna go pretty hard out with it. Yeah, we'll get a clap. Yeah, just random hi-hat. Definitely apply the shape tip mod to this. Give it a bit of velocity. it up let's pitch this up so I think call and response is definitely the key here we might as well just um, switch over into 16 beats mode still live back here Just gonna grab all of these, bring the gain up, bring the filter down, bring the res up a little bit, turn that on, okay. Get there. Maybe a little less volume. Now let's go and change the start of these. these two flip them around quite like this Gonna put a bunch of these ones here. Actually, we'll just borrow this little start.
definitely uh, intense. Gotta save this one for a sub. Uh, now these are pretty basic as they are. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this one. Try and get this. Uh, with these, it was this one that had the cool tail, right? This one is nuts. Try and find a good punch point for this.
to get somewhere. Let's try giving that some pitch, see what happens. You know what, I'm going to lose the ghost clap because I need the channel. I want like a, well, a ding, probably a ride. That one. Cowbell, I reckon. We haven't used the cowbell in any of these. Probably could. Maybe a foley sound.
shovel. I don't really have any good natural organic cowbell sounds. We could potentially use one of the foley's because they're foley's because there's a few clinks there. What if we? I think I like the cowbell. Uh, we don't have any velocity on the gain. Nudge that a bit. Maybe back. Yeah, cool. Let's 
So I'm going to focus on this part in the second half, and I think we are nearly done with this one. Getting a fever. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying myself, that's for sure. Again, I love this stuff. I love having limitations as to what is available for me to produce something. So using a, well, you know, well, it's more than a drum sequencer now. It's a DAW, but, you know, using these tools that are kind of made for drums and in ways that are good for, like, bass stabs and stuff. I love it. I'm just going to go back a couple so I can get that warmth. This needs to be reversed back. using anything on this one. Another Foley sound, that's exciting. Let's bring all this back. Uh, here? Oh no, here. Try that one. Not quite. Just some noise.
you with me. That's cool, but is that not... No. We even need this maybe just we'll put a crash in their two call and response sonar sounds a bit too up front this one is pretty in your face Went to sleep, ate breakfast, took a shower, and I'm still on. Yeah, man. Seven and a half hours, eight hour work day, you know. I mean, this is kind of my job, I think. This is part of my job, so. Good morning. Hey, what's up, Darren? I might replace that hat with some shakers, I think. Nearly done with this one, I think. It's kind of nice for just a simple shaker pattern, I think. Let's give those some random.
I think I might leave the cowbell out, out and show just that second, the last two bars. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'm seeing YouTube chat and Twitch chat at the same time. Um, I don't know if my chat, oh man, my chat box is being a bit weird. I, I, I don't stream very often these days and I kind of like lose, lose touch with technology. Um, there's all this um, stuff that I need to like do my homework on before I start streaming again. So there's a few little things that I missed. Oh no, it comes up. There we go. You can see it down there. Just emulate this little pattern here. See, I've listened to this so many times now, I've got a little bit of stagnation, so I'm a little bit unsure if I do like the screaming sound. Let's just put it down 12 octaves. 12 octaves. I'm just going to mute it for a sec. Tim PM in France, let's go. So you reckon Tweedledub that you reckon lose that sound? You don't reckon you don't reckon it's good and we've just listened to it for fucking half an hour? Cause this is the the quickest way to get stuck into a loop is keep changing it because you're Getting sick of it rather than it's good. Do you reckon pitch down was usable? That is pretty cool, but I feel like we need to accompany it with something else now. Maybe. Nah. That's kind of cool.
I feel like they're better. Joe XCM, welcome. that that kind of s stop here with nothing but the snare and maybe a Okay, I think I'm going to leave that one there. Let's go ahead and save that. TC. Uh, this was heavy TMB1. Save that. It's like a sneaky ninja drop. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you've got four bars and you want to do a little sneaky fake drop, there's not too many options. But I think we, uh, I think we did a good job. I think. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's just randomly pick a couple of these to listen to again. I wouldn't mind listening to. Um, let's listen to the roller DMB. See how that differs. And remember the cool thing is we can drag the kits from previous or existing loops. So let's put the heavy DMB kit onto the roller DMB. And let's put the dark, uh, the roller kit onto the Roll the DMB. No wait. This one here. Not really doing it for me. All right. Let's have a listen to glitch. Wait. Us. And I'm going to leave it on chill step, chill step. I'm going to shoot to the bathroom and when I come back, it's Psy time. We made it to Psy. That's pretty exciting. Let's play this one and I'll be back in a minute.
so nice. So pleasant. Alright, let's just kick on. We are going for... Psy. What do we got left? Psy, Dubstep, Micro House, Minimal Techno. Funky House, Liquid DMV, Psy Chill, Trance and Synthwave. Micro House would be fun because of all the Foley sounds. I want to use as many of those as I can. But I guess let's write some Psy. Uh, clear. We need a psychic. Here we go. How fast are we going to do this? Are we going to make this dark side, high tech, prog? Don't know if we'll be able to pull off a high tech baseline. We can try. Hey. Anyway, let's find the most side bass sound I possibly can. Probably that one, right? Oh. Instant results. I'm going to duplicate that. And this one's going to be up an octave, but we will also use, um, we're going to use pitch on both of them. Let's make it kind of, yeah, let's make it fluffy. And we need to turn off the game mod. The gain modulation. Oh, you want to go dark? Hmm. Well, let me just do a little a fluffy arpeggiator thing first. Let's make this nice and big. Uh, actually, I need to do the pitch modulation on this. this big this is tricky still make it dark with this. I'm going to I'm going to really focus on the baseline here. I'm going to put another two copies of this. This one I'm not going to have any pitch tuning, but heaps of filter. This one I'm going to do no pitch but heaps of shape. This is fun, I like this. We 
need to give that some good resonance. Oh. Hmm. Too much resonance on that. I need to put some chords in here just to help me with my reference. I'm just going to go C minor down to B flat minor. We'll do one little pitch change in this. Mm, let's go for pads. Why not? Let's be ambitious. Yeah, doing this bass slice is going to be, be tricky. Uh, G, maybe we should go down to F. Yeah, I think I'll go down to F just because C is an F and we're using two of these primarily as the note C. I need a different chord. B, it should be a C. I don't like that this 
I was out of tune. I'm pretty sure I made all of these see. Wild today. Yeah, okay, I think this just needs to go off a semitone. Weird. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use some chords. Just, I just really need the reference there. So. Yeah. Okay. Now we can get into it. too loud. This one's going to be the hardest. We have to rotate it. Oh yeah, it's torturous as fuck. I'm, I'm flagellating right now. But, um... I just, I guess I'm just showing off the features of what you can do. And I, I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Um, I guess I'm a, a sadist, a masochist. Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally a, a weird thing to do with my free time. I think it's the reward at the end. I think it's when I do actually pull off something that sounds good. It's just like, I don't know, that sense of achievement with within limitations.
Not quite. Let's move on from this. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Just need that for now. Hmm. We need to rotate it back. Um this way. Uh, it snaps, there is an option to snap, so we have a uh, button here which snaps the modified pitch to the nearest semitone, but we can turn it off and we have done a few interesting things with that. So I don't need this one anymore, so let's just get a hat in there. Let's go for open hat. Why not? Thank you, uh, Chris Morno, Chris Mor Chris Moreno. What I know, six six six. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get a snare in there. Instead of using closed hats, let's see if we can use the shape on the open hat. We need a bit of velocity on the gain. Workflow for going beyond the loop and creating structure and variations. Well, uh, in this particular stream, I'm just using the Atlas software, which is kind of a looped base uh, piece of software. So there's not too much I can do as far as sequencing this into a full song. Uh, it is very easy to export everything as either a MIDI or an audio file. And we can just kind of render that 
and drag it straight into Ableton Live or Froggy Loops or whatever you like. Uh, so once you've created your loops, you can just drag and drop them back out into your DAW and you can go the other way, of course. Um, but I'm just kind of challenging myself creating a free pack, uh, a content pack, which is just loops. And the maximum that we can do is 16 beats or four bars. So that's what I'm restricted to and I'm quite enjoying the challenge actually. It's really quite fun. I'm pretty impressed that I can get this kind of shit out of um, a drum a drum software. Uh, I'm going to ditch that. I'm going to grab all the chords that I can that are in minor, which I don't think is enough, but that's okay. One. Two, three, four, five, okay. Okay, we should be all good here. So, so these will need to be pitch by negative 12 and locked okay and let's give them some gain uh, we missed that one lock it Tell you what, I'm going to try and do that like this. And now we need to do the pitch changes, which we should be able to do. gonna have to listen to these by themselves oops hmm I might just stop this while I do this. I should be able to do it fairly accurately, I think. Oops. Hope for the best with those ones. Uh, down semi two semitones. Okay, let's shorten all these. I'll just do it this way for now. Yeah. 
Lock it, lock it, lock it. It's locked. So I'm just using some of the pads to make little chords. Hmm. Hey Greg. When I stream, I like to do it properly. This one, I'm going to put here. And we'll give this one filter. better with a synth playing a C. but it sounds out of tune. So I have to go up one. What else in the sidetrack? We have two more drum kits or drum slots that we can use. Probably a riser and a faller, eh? Yep. 
don't think we've used these to full capacity yet. I think it should be noise because the pitch stuff kind of interferes with the work I've done on making it melodic. Um, Let's just try noise. And then I did do a fuller, but it might not be very good for this. Let's go for a crash. Way shorter. Just make it two bars. Uh, in theory, we should just be able to. Hello. Uh, so what's that? One point five. So it's one point five. Kinda happy with that. Just gonna do a few little fancy pants things. Um, let's do some really fast hats.
You guys are going to hate me, but I'm not quite happy with this one here. It does sound good. Maybe if we... Can we... Mm. like this one, eh? I'm putting a lot of work into it for the chords and the notes, but... Oh, we didn't use this. Maybe I can use the cat again. <laughs> That's gotta happen. That's our kitty. Down an octave. Maybe just one little kitty at the end. minutes here. Yeah. 
Turns out I'm not good at speed running loop creation. Uh, okay. I kind of like this, but I don't, eh? Yeah, and that's good. Subtle. Fuck it, the cat stays. All right, I'm happy with that. Wow. Each time I do one of these, it I do more, more things, but I also get tired. Um, Sight one. <laughs> well, I didn't know what to put down on the speed run thing. I mean, I've never done it before. I had no idea. I was like, eh, maybe 15 minutes each would be good. Uh, let's have a listen to a few different ones. I think the Psy kit will sound good over this one. Maybe not. Let's get the electro back and let's put the let's put the Psy sequence on it no that's terrible okay heavy dmv dark techno tick us And I'm going to take two minutes break and come back and we'll do dub step. Dub step. I'm going to keep going until I fall down. Having fun. Yeah, take my time. Got a cat bag. Okay, I will be right back. Alright, good night, Tweedle. Thanks for your input. Good to see you again. Sleep well. Couple more minutes, guys.
one minute. I'm going to listen to the side one again real quick. Hell yeah. So, what do we got next? Dubstep. That's quite a... An open-ended one. Let's um, let's go. Get one of our chords in there again. I'm not going to do a melody pitched one here. It's all going to be in C. Definitely need a sub for this one. I think I might use the the wobbly sounds that I've made for this one. Yeah, let's use that. super long already okay I need to shorten this let's do some triplet stuff Tell you what, we'll use the shape velocity mod. Yeah. Big triplet. Okay, let's find some bass wobbles. Now the error I made creating these is they, they can't really be pitched. Maybe I just need to adjust the BPM to that wobble. Fuck it, we can do it this fast, eh? There's no rules. Thank you. 
Okay, more. So we can reverse things. So let's reverse that. Reverse a few of these stabs. Leave that for now. Let's use the timing one with this. So uh, let's get rid of time delay. Let's we'll set that up. So these are a bit. What was the word Tweedle used before? I loved it. Um, oh, it's too far up. Something something to do with the slop. Not sure who said it actually. Same for this one. Let's 
still for the snare as well. Let's get a bit weird with these. Let's do some weird timing stuff. that sound there. about these hats. Thank you. 
totally different sound there. We've got these hats, but... for a ride it's kind of cool I like it still streaming everybody's coming in now and going wow you're still going I'm on a roll no point no point stopping Definitely will be stopping soon. Maybe. Yeah, a few people have done that. <laughs> but to be fair, yeah, this is this is my job. Will all these patterns you're creating be in a bundle with a new version of a download? Uh, they will in some days, so i got to get through them all and then do a few final touches and sit on them for a while. So it's probably going to be, I'd say, five days maybe until this pack is downloadable through the Elgonaut browser. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish all these tonight. And um, Matt's just gone to bed, I think, so... Yeah. What's up, Dream? Dream area? Dream uh, era? How are ya? Quite like this. Uh, let's just give this some um, shape. sound Uh, 
Uh, the cords. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have a reverb in this machine, eh? What did I just do? Dreamer era. Nice. Same, same. Nice to have a marathon stream again. Really enjoying using one single piece of software with all of its quirks and limitations and just trying to really churn out the best music I can. I think it's really, really good for you to do this kind of thing now and then. For me anyway, it's uh, probably subjective, but set myself some rules. Don't have 20 VSTs open or a thousand tracks or, you know, 10,000 samples just Try and do shit with what you got. change that one and then we're good to go <sighs> I don't know man I have a pretty weird life
same over Bitweek project dedicated to each VMT in my VST learning folder. Where I just spend some time with that one VST. That's a good idea. Yeah, I quite like that. Kind of setting up projects that are uh, environments for bettering. 69 megacom, tired of being alone, fucking hell. Goodbye. I think I've used on it one more. So definitely use one foldy. You know I love them. That's cool. Where are we getting a synth sound from at the very first beat? I can't quite figure that one out. It's definitely this chord. It's like sneaking a little extra chord in there. Save that. Okay, I'm gonna do one more and then it is time to stop. So TC dubstep. Uh, which one do I want to do? Let's have a look. Micro house minimal ah look I've doubled up on minimal techno, that's no good. Funky House, Liquid DMV. I think I've doubled up on the Liquid. No, I haven't. Trance, mm, I'm not sure about that one, eh? Catch you later, Megapixel. Good to check in again. I will definitely be finishing soon, so... Yeah, have a good day at work. I think I'll, I think I'll go for Micro House. I'll do the last one. Lots of Foley sounds. Try and use as little drums as I can. Super chill, almost ambient to finish it off. Speaking of ambient, going to the bathroom, be right back. Okay. Ready for lucky last. 
So micro house is an interesting one. It's pretty much going to be like the ambient one, but with a beat. It's going to be even more chill than um, the dub techno one, I think. Thank you. Yeah, I really like the that one too. I really like the Psy one. Made some good loops. Okay, let's let's do this house one. So we'll start off with a really let's just drag a bunch of foley's in. Let's just not even audition them. Mm. I don't want the lady one. I need some clicks for the snares. Get that one in there. Mm -hmm. I vote that we write this the same BPM as that is eighth notes. Hmm. No, that's we want this to be nice and slow, so Need a nice low kick. Okay. Still a little bit too. Nice. Grab that one. Let's go into the playback. Quite nice. Trying to find a hat.
Definitely give this some shuffle. Let's give this some um, shape mod. Okay, let's get a sub in there. Make this nice and sh mm, short. Okay, let's stretch that out to four bars. Let's just check out what noise I've got. There was some rain that I liked that I wanted to use. Um, I did, thank you so much. I've been doing that a little bit. The timer isn't... Ah, no, I fucked up big time. It's all good. I mean, I don't even know how long I've spent on these. that one synth sound that's in there. I really like this one. Maybe we could reverse this.
some kind of little melody. This should be interesting with the pitch mod. I really have too many nice sounds that we can put in here. Maybe. Let's try. Let's have a look at our pads again. I haven't done anything in a major key whatsoever. I just realised. Maybe I should try. Let's make this a major.
no, it's not. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> there, copy it across, and let's reverse it. One more sound. Got anything that I've missed? Anything at all? Tambourines? Nah. Fuck I guess we just go for one more foley. Save that. So I'm going to finish now. I'm going to listen to each loop one last time and then I'm going to call it. Call it. I'm just suddenly got incredibly tired and need to go to bed. But it's been awesome. I've had a lot of fun. If you're still watching, well done. Well done to you. And yeah, let's let's just go through what I've done and finish on a finish with that. So we'll start with ambient. We'll go through alphabetically. I honestly think this is my favourite out of all of them. I thought this was going to be the hardest one to do. Alright, let's have a listen to Chill. game Stray. I know of it. Yeah, I've seen some people play it. True. Yeah, I imagine writing the soundtrack for a game about cats would be pretty fucking cool. I'll check it out. I do like good soundtracks to games. Okay, chill step. It's got some weird stereo stuff coming in my earphones here. All right, dark techno. Quite interesting, like the really progressive genres. There's not a hell of a lot I can do over four bars, but this 
one was mainly to show off the arpeggiator, I think. Dubstep. Dub techno. Electro House. Garage. Heavy DMB. Micro House. Minimal techno. Sigh. DNB and finally Tick House. So with that, I'm out, check out Atlas, grab the trial, it's heaps of fun, I really really recommend it as a tool, uh, not how I've done here, I've been creating a content pack, but in your everyday production, yeah I don't need to say anymore, you guys have probably seen that I really like it, um, check out the code, it's good for like another 6 days I think, and yeah this pack when I finish the last 6 loops will be going live probably just after the weekend I imagine so yeah even if you have the trial version you can still play with this because the pack will be free all right good effort everyone <laughs>